that's better. <laughs> you can hear me now, right? Okay, good. Hi, friend. Okay. Hello, I'm here now. Sorry for the wait. Cage is here, and Paul, and Bigby is here. Yay. Hi, friends. Um, yeah, I thought I had, I was like, oh, I'm gonna look up the microphone early, pat myself on the back. And then I wasn't even looking at which square piece I picked up and I picked up the wrong one and you know how it goes. So this is all a mess. Um, but according to the poll, which is five to four, even though socks voted twice, um, according to the poll, hi Basil, according to the poll, we're supposed to work on the hat tonight. Which is weird and feels really wrong because it's Wednesday and that's when we play the long dark. Yeah, I got a snack. This is the first thing I've eaten today. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. How is everybody? How are you all? Cage. Oh, you're still working on that room. Good. Progress is progress. No matter how small. So yeah, we can work on the hat and just, it just feels weird to do that on a Wednesday is all. This area is a nightmare, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to move something else over here. Basil, you're so messy with your food. I fed her earlier and put her bowl on the desk where my sewing machine lives. She proceeded to get cat food all over the desk. Such a little trash cat. Fiona, can I borrow this? Thank you. Okay, we'll work with that later. <laughs> okay, so that's good there. Oh, that lamp is not plugged in, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe everyone showed up and then went to get snacks. Also, apologies for the later start and than most Wednesdays. I um, had things I needed to do. Tried my best. Got them done eventually. Okay. Let me move some things out of the way. So we have a workspace that is usable. Bought some fabric today. I made an Instagram post about it. So if you saw it, you saw it. And if you didn't, Here's all this great fabric that is just really, really nice. Where I should put it, though, is a totally different question. It does not have a home. Um, I'll just shove it in a bag. Okay. care of out of sight out of mind that's all I care about Paige how's um so you're talking about the room with the boxes right how is that going how much um what what all have you gotten done with it I know you were frustrated earlier because the desk you put together like didn't fit in your bedroom where you wanted to put it but what is this piece of hair doing hmm. whatever Forgot to hop back in here. Oh, thanks. Kidding. Totally kidding. I was looking through eBay for something insane. What was it? You can't say something insane and then like expect that we're not going to ask. 
I have these containers. Yeah, losing things again. I have all these containers from these edibles that I really like, and I've bought them for a long time. And these containers that they come in are really nice, and I feel like I should use them for something, but I don't know what to use them for. So I haven't gotten rid of them. I promise I'm not a hoarder. I was cleaning up other things. Oh, they can go up here. That's one more thing out of the way. A designer Sailor Moon pin. Sold for a thousand dollars. What? Well, when you find the link, throw it in the chat. I want to see. You're going back and forth between rooms. Still trying to clean both rooms. You're kind of overwhelmed. Well, Cage, why are you, why are you trying to clean two rooms at once? One at a time is usually better. Making your bed. Making the bed is fantastic that's a fantastic starting point because once you have the bed made then you can use that surface to sort other things and when i was a kid my mom would tell me that every time she sent me to go clean my room and it made me so mad but she was totally right it just pissed me off sailor moon profile fantasy pin let's take a look at this hold on Sailor Moon Fantasy Pin by Designs by Jen. Standard grade. It's the original listing. What? The listing was ended by the seller because the item is no longer available, so you can't look at the listing? Scroll down. Okay. Description. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Sometimes, sometimes I'm dumb. Uh, let's see. A brand new, unused, unopened, unnamed item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sailor Moon profile pin. It's created by this person and Gior Georgie. Standard grade. It's absolutely stunning, I know. Okay. Interested in a reduced price. How does reduced price work if it's an auction? Three and a half by three and a half. Oh, limited edition of a hundred. So that were there a hundred pins total? Yeah, and you can't see the pictures. Well, dang it. I tried. So you were just wanting to read about it or were you trying to bid on it or what? Basil, honey, you can't sit there. You gotta move. I need that area. Okay. More things out of the way. Little kitten. Little kitten. You're so cute, but you can't stay there. Mm -mm, sorry. So nice. So, but no. It's not for sits. You wanted to show that the designer pin game is strong. Oh. Who were you trying to show that to? And I guess may I, may I ask like designer pins as opposed to what kind of pins? I feel like enamel pins are enamel pins are enamel pins, but I probably don't need much. You can't have that kind of thing appear on my Instagram without warning. What kind of thing? An I spy book? Like a... An I spy book or... What did I post? Fabric? <laughs> Hi, Wicklewood. How are you? I hope you're having a great night. Mine, mine was alright and it's getting better now. Potato hat. 
You can't pose it without warning. Why the hell not? Why not? I didn't know it was going to be a potato hat. I had no idea. Basil, you gotta move. You're in the way. Can you go over here to your bed? Please? Sorry. She's so mad. Go. I know it's not front and center. And you can't have my snack. That's for me. No. I need this. We have to iron. We have to iron um, and press the seams. Come on. Warlock. Hi. Um, yes, I will give Basil pets. I just don't want her to sit on the ironing board because we need that. No, this is encouraging you. Here. How about if I give you belly rubs like this? How about that? Is this okay? This will also suffice. So there's designer ones from artists and then there's official licensed ones. Yeah, from the company that owns the rights. Okay, that much rye rod is dangerous. What are you talking about? Look at those spuds. I mean, this is where channel plays need to go. She's like, she is pretty popular. I'm amazed that someone paid a thousand dollars for a pin. Me too. I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for that. I'm sure the cat is royalty. Um, Warlock, are you Wet Socks' like alternate account or something? <laughs> or are you both just on par with the Basil fan club? Let's pop over to this. Basil is actually the first cat I've had as an adult that I did not give a royal name to. She's a trash cat, like through and through, which is why she's mine. Duh. First time we see Maisel. Well, congratulations. She is a natural born star. She loves the camera. She, like some cats, are motivated by food or treat. She is motivated by pet. So I get her to do things. But yeah, she's all right. She usually hangs out here. She has a bed here on my desk. But if there's something more front and center, that's where she wants to go. You can, yeah, her bed is this thing over here. This green thing. Yeah, she's the first cat I've had as an adult that I did not give a royal name. Because Fiona is Princess Fiona Fat Pants the Great, first of her name, Defender of the Realm. Mm, there might be something else in there. And then, um, I had Lady Judy Growly Pants, who is a really lovely Siamese cat. She died. Yikes. Design by Gen Pin Lipper Sales on eBay are expensive. Like, her pins are expensive. I don't know what, I don't know what flipper sales are. Just out of irony, royal names. Have you looked up the etymology of basil? Um, I don't know if I looked at the etymology of it, but when I picked it, I picked it because it means bravery. I wanted her to be brave because she was all like scared when we first got her, but it was all an act because that cat gives absolutely no fucks about anything. And she left half of two of her teeth in something somewhere before she got to us. Girlfriend, I wanted to get a cat. Oh, I'm allergic to cat hair. <gasps> get a Siberian. Siberian cats are hypoallergenic. If you don't like the Sphinx cats, then the hairless cats, if you don't like those, get a Siberian. They're hypoallergenic. Oh, so when people resell. Okay. Use StubHub for concert, music, show tickets. When I use StubHub back, I would say back in the day, because it's been a long time since I bought tickets there. When I would use StubHub, um, I got real, I went there to get better prices. I don't consider them jacked up, but, but yes, I know people buy and resell things on eBay and other things like that. I used to do that. 
not like pins or concert tickets, but I did tons of vintage resale. And like, if I just buy something or not buy something, but if I see something at thrift or thrift or wherever the hell I am that I know that I could flip it and make a good profit, then why the hell not? I don't see anything wrong with that. The person buying it is making that choice. And obviously feels like the item is worth the money because that's why they are choosing to buy it. The Arabic root is great, is brave. The Greek root is royal. Oh, okay. Doesn't surprise me. I named her king. I did not. I named her Basil. Because it meant brave. It means bravery. I didn't go for it from that angle. So. So it doesn't count. Okay. So on Sunday, we made this part, which is the back. We have the back of the hat, the sides. Um, so we need to do the top stitching of all this next. Which also is going to involve notches, I believe. So we sewed all the way around. Whoa. We sewed all the way around this whole edge. This is inside out now. Did all this. So we need to go back. And cut notches all the way along this. And then iron them apart. I, I don't know. I did a lot of reading when I was looking for a name for her and I didn't, I don't recall ever coming across royal meanings or anything for Basil. But I had also been looking for quite a long time and I don't know. It was one of those things like when I found it, I was like, yeah, that's the one. Because at first I wanted to give her some name from like the last unicorn and then none of those worked and then i was like what am i trying to do why am i trying to name my cat after some unrelated thing because the way that you name pets is you just wait and then they tell you what they're supposed to be called and then that's really how you're supposed to do it i think um the next thing is to, or first thing really, is to plug in the iron. Okay. That, hi. You overlocked all the parts. Cool, you have a high standard, I can see. I do, I do have a very high standard. Mm -hmm. Also, using the overlocker is just like, so extremely satisfying. I love it. it makes everything better. Gator! Let's get, get dressed up as medieval hoodlums and vandalize some shit. Okay. Sure, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. I wouldn't do that with just anybody. But you? Absolutely. How are you doing? Where is that bunny mouse thing? That's cute. Luality. I don't know who they are. What to vandal though? Mm, good question. A country club? I don't know. Something, some place that rich people hang out. I don't know. I did a lot of, I got into a lot of shit when I was younger, but I never did like actual vandalism aside from egging a church. Going on the list. Who are you? Are you Chris Jericho? I, yeah, I egged a church, but I think besides that, I think that's like, the most vandalism-esque thing I did. Oh, and my friends and I TP'd the neighbor's house at a sleepover once. 
but like, eh, I, I don't know if that even counts. I could pull an epic prank on a homeless shelter and like clean up and upgrade their facilities. Amazing. Amazing. Big B, thank you for those bits. What a lovely, what a lovely surprise. Thank you. I woke up to a Pepsi vending machine in my garage once. Did you put it there? Did you put it there? For the Jericho reference, how random. Is it random though? I feel like it just is one of those things that is now like woven into the fabric of our society. And like, if you know, you know. And if you don't, well, you're lost and you're probably going on the list for not knowing about the list, right? I know, I know some wrestling stuff. Not as much as I'm tons of other people, obviously. But I know stuff. Ironing these seams is tricky because they're like on curves. So then it's like, do I just have to mash it down to iron it? I don't know. Happy I could, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess I like surprise when I use re wrestling references. I don't know how to iron these themes. Ow, my neck. Just be like, I don't know how to iron them just because of how they curve around and it's like, how do we do that? This cat is going to jump up on my plate of pears, I swear. Oh, I need to rotate that. Drunk me and sober me are two different people, but I'm sure drunk me knows how it got there. That's what I was saying. Exactly. I mean, I say a little, oh, I'm sure mine, like on the right side of my neck, like of my, like where your spine goes up and you know, like the base of your neck, you have like that vertebrae that like, it's kind of like a ball at the top of your back. It's like just to the side of that, to the right side of that, I get this like horrible, like searing electric zip pain just randomly when I try and do things. It's awful. Guess you decided to hold off on that $6,000 iron from the other night. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. We'll have to, the ironing system. Maybe when I'm rich and famous or something. Funny thing is, I remember the vending machine being caged at a park in a bad neighborhood. Well, does that mean you rescued it and brought it to safety to give it a new home? Gator always with the shenanigans. Maybe I shouldn't iron this. I feel like I should iron it, but maybe not since I just, we go through and we hold these apart and we stitch them. But maybe I shouldn't iron it and I should just go and stitch it. I think I might do that because there's just not enough way to get this to lay flat. It's not gonna do it. Probably not. So what happened to the vending machine? Is it still in your garage or no? It's like a fuzz thing on top of that camera. I gutted and mutilated it if I'm being honest. I'm the Michael. How dare. I'd rather you mutilate vending machines than animals. Wow. You monster. We're gonna go over here and start sewing in a few minutes. I just wanna eat my snack first. I'll 
set this up so that I can see the trap. Sure, and priests would rather be allowed to get married as opposed to... What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? I'm listening. I'm always listening. <laughs> I could have only guessed. Okay. We love you anyway. You're being high is always welcome here. You should know that. Okay, now I'll sit over there. Um is there anything else I need to do over here before uh, before I move over there? Just Throwing fruit around, don't mind me. High as fuck, so I don't know. What what do you know right now? This stays here, this comes over here. I feel like I ran a mile. Oh dear, please be careful. Not good. I'm going to move the camera over. Peaches, peaches for you and me, and peaches for everybody. <clears throat> this needs to go that way. I'm gonna close it so I don't make people seasick. How did I do this before? Did it the other day, obviously. Oh, because this... Ow! Ow. I did not smash my fingers. Okay, so that went here, or something like that. And then... Then you can... We can all hang out in the same place. Alright, cool. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. It's true. It's true. We love that song here. They were put there in the can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. That way. Just I just said that. I just said that. Wow. Um. Okay. Gonna get rid of this. So then. We're all over there. Mm, okay, cool. Actually, one second. One second. You won't be able to see me, but I'll make things so much cleaner to do this. Let's throw that down there. That makes things so much easier. All right, let's go over to the zooming machine. Scissors. Oh, I had the list of stuff to do. Oh, here it is. A pen. Take a little nap where the roots all, oh, the lyrics. I get it, I get it. Wait. Yeah, um, I, I guess so. I didn't realize there were all those other words in there. I guess I thought it was a bit shorter. Maybe.
Oh, I turn on the other camera. That's what we are missing. I knew I didn't need to do that. Seriously? Seriously, what? I knew most of those words, but I didn't know about the dream and the woman. Um, nature's candy. Yeah, the dream and the woman part um, was not familiar. Maybe I just missed those. I don't know. This is going to go back to where it was. Sorry. Okay. I knew I was missing something. I was like, oh, this is going to go over here. And then I was like, wait, I've literally never done that. Why would I start now? That's why. Okay, now we can go over there. Ignore that mess. I retract whatever bullshit I was attempting. Oh, Gator. You're wonderful. You are a treasure. Now we have more light. That's good. Um, I need to pull the tutorial so then when I'm like, what the hell did they do? Then I'll know. Okay, this goes on the floor, and this comes over here. You might be moving. What? Where? Where are you going? Like, just somewhere moderately close to where you already live? Or, like, what kind of, like, a big move, or are you just, like, moving house? Somewhere cheaper. Hmm, fair. Does that mean, like, not California cheaper, or does that just mean a different neighborhood? I'm trying to look and think about how this is going to go. So this is where those notches come into play. Because this is not going to sit down nicely. So we just go and snip it every like inch or two. Carefully. Because if you snip over the seam allowance, that is very bad. Which I almost did, but not quite. Almost. It's one of those things where, like, while you're doing it, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm going to ruin this. And then later on, you go back and it all makes sense. I need to do that part because I already sewed those together. And maybe there. I will look at what you're telling me, Gator, in just a second. Oh my gosh, you guys. The other day, two days ago? No, maybe it was just last night. I found a stream. No, that wasn't last night. Um, it was a few nights ago. I found a stream that's like, I might have found a stream that's as like chill and low key as my stream is. I could not tell you what the name of it was though. I don't remember. There's some chick doing pottery, which is fun. I like doing pottery, but I'm not fancy enough to be able to like own my own wheel. Oh, I should have just cut these all at the same time. Why the fuck didn't I do that? That would have been efficient. That's why I didn't do it. Mm, that's not too far. Dan Wong. Hi, friend. Heresy. Hi, how are you? 
Your stream was so much fun last night. I I had a ball. You might be moving somewhere cheaper. Oh, 40 to 60 minutes away. Okay, so like a different neighborhood. Smaller place, an apartment, not a house. Yeah, fuck that. If you live in a house, like you cannot go back to living in an apartment. You just can't, like, don't do that. You're gonna regret it. You'll not be happy there. Like, I get that it's cheaper, but like, Jesus. It's 700 less a month and a less crime riddled shithole. Guess so, but like, isn't there like, a, there's gotta be a happy medium somewhere where like a decent neighborhood where you can at least, at least like a townhouse or a duplex or something, not a fucking apartment. That's literally like, here's your designated shoebox in the world. I've lived in plenty of apartments. Just putting that out there. Um, more of that tonight. Yes. So in my Discord, which you should come and join us because your friends also hang out there and you're just lovely. Um, we had a poll to vote for what we were doing tonight. Because on Wednesdays we usually play the long dark. But I was like, so we're playing, we're doing Jackbox games on Saturday. Because we met that goal on the streamathon thing a week back. So Saturday we're doing Jackbox games. So then because of that, I wasn't sure if it would be weird to play another game tonight. And then I was like, well, when the hell is this hat going to get done? So I put up a poll about what we should do tonight. And it was tied, just even though somebody voted twice, blah, blah, blah. It was tied. And so I was like, go vote. And so technically the potato had five and the pine tree had four. Talking about playing in the mud. Um, yeah, I found some chick who does pottery stuff. It was really cool. I'm, I have done pottery in the past and I have done the pottery wheel and stuff. I just don't own one. What are you making? We're making a hat. We're making a hat. Um, let me pop over to the desk and I can show you a picture of like what it the end objective is so then you have an idea of what kind of hat it is but right now it's like a weird hat with stripes and potatoes <laughs> squilky yes i know of them through you the pottery and ceramics yeah yep there i mean there's lots of people who do it on twitch i just don't usually watch pottery streams i just happened i don't even know how i found this person maybe it was just browsing or recommended or something but it was nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me show you what this is. Hopefully, what type of hat we're making. Um, here's the picture. So this is the only picture that was on the website with the pattern that I got. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a flat cap. So that's your basic idea. Obviously, they're using nice fabrics. This is a prototype mock-up thing, so it just is whatever fabric I have on hand. At the moment, she's giving her husband a stick and poke tattoo. So what's supposed to be a bowling ball and pins? Of course, it looks like a knob and balls. Of course, that's what always happens, I feel like, with something like that. That's really funny. What a, what a hilarious, like, how did, how did she talk him into that? How did, how did this come about? Too many cords under this desk, I swear. But I say that every time. Probably just lying about it. Deal with. What? What do you mean? Rifle, are you saying like you think they wanted it to be a dick and balls on purpose or that oh it's a big Lebowski tattoo because they met a follower goal uh, okay okay yeah I guess that'll show up okay I was just thinking like do I want to change the red color to give it like more pops of color or whatever the fuck with the top stitching but 
Nah, let's just leave it the way it is. I'm gonna use white, because again, it's just a mock-up. It, it's not the real deal. You got a kitty last goal. What? They've done a couple of them? Really? She just is like, here, let me stick, poke, tattoo my husband just because? Is she, like, are they good? Are there pictures anywhere? Like, does she have skill or is it like, is it, yikes. Huh. Okay, so this is, again, this is going to be tricky. Since the ironing is not really possible on this. Oh, I need to snip it again right here. That way should lay flat. The wyvern looked okay. I don't... What's a wyvern? I don't know what that is. I only catch bits of it since I'm usually in a YouTube rabbit hole. That Those are real. It does take all sorts. You're totally right. You're totally right. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this to do the thing. I don't want to take that off. Just because I feel like it's going to affect my ability to rotate the hat. But I realize it doesn't make any sense. But that's just the way it is, so... The wyvern, oh, it's a dragon-like creature? Huh. I don't think I am familiar with that. If anyone wants to throw a link in there that has, like, a picture or something, or Wikipedia, that would be really helpful. You're down Amazon rabbit hole. So frustrated, though. What are you frustrated about? No, Timothy, go hi. Hi, welcome, friend. How are you tonight? We're making a hat or still making a hat because well i take my time and y'all are distracting but it's okay i prefer it that way hmm. hey that was weird so i'm gonna have to like straighten it repeatedly Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me take a look. So many links. Thank you. Thank you for all the links. Huh. They did the biggest stick and poke tattoo I've ever done. This was to celebrate their 800 Twitch followers. Thank you for your love and support. Wow. Oh. So I guess the ink is supposed to be faint on those. Wyvern is a legendary bipedal winged dragon, usually depicted with a tail ending in a diamond or arrow shaped tip. Well, I can't see the tip of that one's tail, but okay. It's various form in its various forms, it's important to heraldry, frequently as a school mascot or athletic. Oh, okay. The wyvern and heraldry in folklore is rarely fire breathing, unlike four legged dragons. Oh, this is a it did. I was like, wait, does this have two legs? It did say bipedal. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I know, like, now that I'm seeing the pictures, I know what those are. I just, I guess I didn't realize they had a specific name. You got a comparison chart. Oh, jeez. Well, that is blurry as fuck, but thank you. <laughs> Thanks for trying. We're not seeing Christian here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's up to. I assume he'll pop in later. Doing fantastic, just hanging out with you in the community, and thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, you're always welcome. You wanted to be set up from Candy King so I could plug in my new webcam and start streaming, and I wanted to spend money on something else other than another desk. Honestly, I would say don't spend money on a desk right now because you have one, and I feel like there's gotta be some way make it work with what you've got. 
deepness of the color depends on pain tolerance and how deep you're willing to have the needle go. That is true. That is true. Um, I cannot give Basil pets because she is not in the room. She ran off. I don't know where she went. But we should be able to refund your channel points. I think Big B should be able to do that. If not, I can do it later. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. And you have to go back and tuck in the next piece. This is ridiculous. Where? Okay. We need small scissors for this. You have to go through and like tuck in each little tab. Um, this is not very close. Sorry. Hmm. Well, that's not gonna get closer. I'm like, maybe I could have it zoom in. I can't. That camera sucks. So, sorry about it. I don't know if anyone is like super dying to see up close of the machine working anyway. I know some people like to watch sewing machines do their thing. I like watching that shit on like Mr. Rogers when the mailman would come by or on how it's made. I guess I'll just go through there. This would be so much better if I could iron it. I just don't know how to make that happen. Just lay flat, please. This is not going to be the most even top stitching. Is Basil around the house or sleep or play toys? Um, she was in here when we first started. She was hanging out, being in the way. And then I thought she was going to sit in this chair over here where she likes to take a nap, but she, I don't know, she left. So she's probably laying in the window or taking a nap or something. You have to move the seven foot long, hundred plus year old dresser or downsize to a twin bed. And both options suck. Are both of them jammed up completely against the wall and there's not a single inch for them to move? If it's a matter of just moving the dresser over and moving something over a bit, that would be great. Oh, um, Timothy, you don't have to do all that. That's not necessary. That's nice of you. We're definitely not necessary. Fuck it. I'm eating pears. Let's do this battle thing. Quarter of an inch over and it blocks the door. Hmm. Well. It's hard for me to make suggestions since I don't know what the room looks like. Or the floor plan of it or anything. There you go. Exclamation mark. BRB. You need four inches. Hmm. Well, again, it's hard to know what to tell you when I don't know the layout of the room or anything. Uh, I need this window over here. I can show you pictures of the room. Awesome. You are being supportive. Um, Timothy, what are, um, is there like a link to any of your social media? Place that in the wrong spot. Whatever. Almost clean. That's fantastic. Good job, buddy. Proud of you for doing the things. Because that shit is not easy. Like, I don't know, like, my, I don't know, this room. This room gets messy. But, like, my bedroom doesn't really get messy. 
but I'm definitely somebody that lives out of like the mountain of clothes on top of my dresser. There's clothes in the dresser, but I just like to live out of the pile on top of it. And it's just the way I am. Once every few years, it gets completely cleaned off though. Do you have a link to the Twitter and Instagram or is it the same username? If it's the same username, I'll just go look it up. Okay, that should be good. Just same username. Okay. I had my phone. And then I moved my phone. Did I set it over here? Where did it go? Oh, I put it up here. I put it up top on a shelf, which is a place I absolutely never would put it. Let's go see. Ow. I'm really good at that. Oh, I'll put this in a really convenient, obvious location for future me to find it. And we all know how that ends up. I don't have any mentions. Let's see. What is what is Cinna Squad? Oh, there it is. Thank you. That's nice. Okay, let's go back to sewing. That seems way more fun, right? Okay. Back to work, everybody. And we'll see how well this goes, cause, cause I don't know about this. What do you like to be called, by the way? The real Timothy Gill is a mouthful. So, do you just go by Tim, Timothy? What do you, what do you want to be called? Has anyone actually joined you when you tweet those things? Because, like, most of the time, I find Things like that are not very effective. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do whatever the hell you want to do. That's not it at all. I just like, and a lot of discords and stuff, streamers will have a channel where like people can spam their links when they go live and historically like people don't really look at those. And so, I, I don't know, to me like tweeting on Twitter in that way is kind of the same thing, but maybe it's not, I don't know. Hmm. 
Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that went a bit fast. Timothy. Oh, okay. A squad that another streamer came up with. Oh, okay. Well, that tells me almost nothing. But if that's all you want to say about it, that's fine too. Okay, we're going to keep going. I mean, on the plus side, if we get, if we magically finish the hat, then we can play the long dark or some other game. I don't spam, I just shared their streams. Yes, I, I am not saying that you spammed anything. I'm just saying like, that's what happens in those channels. People will be like, oh, I pushed go live. I'm going to copy my link and then I'm going to paste it into like 10 discords. And I just don't know how effective those actually are. To me, it's like junk mail. Like in my Discord, we don't have that. But we have a live role. So then if someone is live, it tells like in the sidebar at the top, like they're right there in red the whole time that they're live. And I think that's a lot more efficient and a lot more helpful because it's just readily available and it lasts the whole time that they're live instead of just when they started so that two hours later you're like oh they're probably not on anymore I don't want to click on that but if you see oh their name is still under the banner saying they're live well that's far more straightforward and then nobody has to even do anything like you don't have to share your links or anything I mean by you I mean like the streamers who do the thing not anyone specific. Same idea with shots of my room. I didn't feel like sharing with everyone at the moment. That's okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I I may not get to it just yet, but um, I'll try to remember to look at it when we do the next battle or something. When I'm over where my phone is. Okay, we're getting, we're making progress. It's just, as I said, kind of awkward with the way that this is curved on these seams and all that. And here's the seams. Totally get what you're saying. Excellent. Good, excellent. Maybe Wednesdays are just a weird night for streaming. I don't know. I have almost always streamed on Wednesdays because it just ends up being a night that works for me but I don't know I know there's some nights that are generally slower than others but I don't think Wednesdays are that It's also because I started later, so it makes sense. What are you all up to while you're hanging out here? What are you all are you working on something? Uh, what are you doing? I really like when there's long stretches that are just cooperating and I can just like, go. It's so nice. too hard to complete moving shit around to contemplate moving shit around take a break you have to take breaks that's crucial so i am ordering you to sit the fuck down and take a break prepping for work tomorrow what's happening tomorrow is it like an event or what kind of thing welcome back by the way Mm -hmm. yeah, let this one go a little long. And maybe there. I 
guess. You just say that's good and go with it. Wait, no, stop. Yikes. Might have made those notches in the wrong place. Normal work stuff. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if I know what your normal work stuff consists of. I don't know, like, gist of what you do and stuff but I know not what a typical day consists of probably not great to try notching the thing while it's literally like under the sewing machine but eh I've done worse just needed it to sit and it wasn't so you gotta cut it and make it do what you want just fucking weird so i'm sorry i'm kind of just talking to myself over here <laughs> unintelligible sounds lots of yeses and nos are you be, i'll be over here just like arguing with myself about fucking fabric like what but really i only do that sometimes i'm really not somebody that like talks to inanimate objects it's never been my thing This side's almost done, yay! Love that. Okay. Thumb stretch for the first theme. There's quite a bit more to do. Okay, so I think if I go down one more, then I can come pivot and then go back around the other side females appease appeasing student what does that entail oh appeasing faculty you just appease everyone we're on never-ending projects information up to date logging information cleaning up messes that's how it goes it is pretty much how it goes i don't need to go down a little bit Thank you for humoring me. So now, yeah, now we're going back down the other side. This should hopefully work more smoothly than the first side did, just because it, um, like already half done, so you don't have to force it as much. I need to make an appointment with my advisor because I have not picked all my classes for fall, which is probably not great, but I was far too burned out at the end of spring to mess with any of it. We had a meeting, she signed me up for a couple things that were mandatory, and then like it's like asking me questions about things I hadn't even thought of. And I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to decide that right now? And then she's like, here, you can email these faculty members. And I'm like, am I going to do that though? No, no, I am not. Nope. Too much work, too much stress. That one's a bit not good. Some of these, I don't know. Again, it's not the real hat, so it's okay that it's not perfect. Get all sorts of interesting questions that don't pertain to my area of expertise. Oh, of course, but it's nice being able to redirect them to the right person. 
yeah, that's a good feeling. I mean, I have, yes, yeah, I've worked in several jobs like that. Plus, then it's kind of a relief that it's like, hey, now I don't, now it's out of my hair, and I'm not the one who has to deal with it. I know some people see it that way. I generally did not, but I'm not judging anybody if they do, because sometimes it's just there's just too many things going on, especially in academic related jobs because man first like month of school is insane so that yeah, this is the top stitching which will be visible on the outside and gives it just a really nice clean finish Assuming <laughs> that you keep the needle on top of the fabric and not next to it. Anybody have anything cool or interesting happen in their life so far this week? Maybe, yeah, maybe if I go this way. I don't know. There's like, it's just trying to pucker and do the things I don't want it to do. I guess we'll just make another notch and that should help. Notches are really nice because just instead of fighting it just does exactly what you need it to do. Super great. Nothing, nope, not at all. Nothing interesting worth mentioning yet. That's fair. That's fair. I haven't done anything this week either. Mm, yeah, not really. I don't have anything positive to add. Well, maybe you can try to make something sound positive. You can like reframe it in a positive way. It's always a good exercise. Oh, I got the paint sprayer there, that box. There's a paint sprayer in that box. That was exciting. That showed up yesterday. So yes, I guess I do have something noteworthy to share. There's a paint sprayer in my house now. Um, most of the other stuff is ordered. The other like half of it. There's stuff I can get locally. So that, um, that stuff I don't have yet. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised nobody asked what this box was. Usually you all are so inquisitive and you'll be like, what's that? Tell us. But I guess tonight's crowd is not, not bringing that energy. I mean, I was I was not planning to like open it on stream or anything, so I didn't know if people were like assuming that I would or something, but I was not planning on it. Still going. a foot there and you gotta like you know keep your hands out of the needle i know it's tempting but don't do it it's 
would be so nice to have it ironed. Oh, now we gotta turn. We are getting closer and closer and closer. Maybe Christian's not here because I'm not playing the long dark. I think he voted for the long dark, so maybe he's bitter. And he's like, wow, fuck that. I'm not showing up. That stream, if she does not play the long dark on Wednesday, fuck that. Totally kidding. Christian would never say that. <laughs> Ever. Probably. I don't know if I mentioned, I've been a part timer for the past year and eight months. What? You did not mention it. So for the past year and eight months, you were part-time. You just got promoted to full-time at five. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. That's a big fucking deal. Then you get like benefits and all that stuff, right? I mean, I'm assuming they did not offer those benefits as part-time because I mean, most places don't. That's amazing. Congratulations. Should absolutely celebrate that. You said you didn't have any no anything noteworthy to share. You liar. Nope, not at all. Nothing interesting worth mentioning yet. Really? You lied. Are you beginning sick time of PTO already? Yeah, usually they give you like a tiny amount. Or part time, but like, I mean, I just meant like insurance and like, I don't know, the uh, retirement benefits allegedly and all that stuff. Okay. You already have 103 hours of PTO wrecked up. Wow. Don't don't spend them all in one place. But um, is it one of those places where you can roll over your PTO and stuff? Or is it... I mean, most places have a certain amount that's use it or lose it. And then another amount that you can roll over. My top stitching is... It's okay, but... I mean, if this were like a real deal thing that I was giving to someone or selling to someone or was wearing myself, uh, I would would not be pleased with that. What is the seam is like coming apart? Oh shit! Well, I can't fix it at this point. <laughs> There's a hole. I'll show you up here. Look, that's not good. It's a mock-up, not the real thing. 400 hours max. That's, is that per year? Like 400 for a year? Or like the total you could have at maximum at any, at any time or what? 400 is completely insane. Total at any time. Okay, so then you have like your person who's been working there for 30 years and they almost never take a day off and then they're like, yeah, I've got 350 hours saved up. Because you know that, like, there's totally those people. Like, it's always a thing. Okay, we've got our top stitching. It looks pretty good. So that's where we went all the way across. Not all across, we went all the way around. All these seams, and if you can kind of see, there's a bit of a line here. There's a bit of a line on the top. And that just makes it look more finished and nice. And then on the inside, 
the seams are flat. So let's go look at the tutorial finger. See what is next. Good plan. Nice. Thanks. Looks all right. I'm not happy with the top stitching, but again, it's not the real deal, so it's fine. And really, we're probably just going to sit here for four minutes because there's a battle in four minutes. Yes, a tester, precisely. All curve sections are notched, okay. Oh. oh, next is we're supposed to make the visor. <gasps> Shit, I don't know if I have something to make that out of. I was, I was saying cardboard. I was thinking cardboard, but now, I don't know. They use plastic, which is a good idea. I feel weird cutting up like one of those like subject dividers from a binder, the plastic ones. That's what I have. It's what I would be using. I mean, it's not a big deal. I can always get more of them. I guess I have two. I guess we're gonna cut that up. That'll be fun. Hmm. I don't know how that's supposed to hold the shape though. That doesn't make a hat. Hmm. I want to just use cardboard. I might still just use cardboard. I forget what is used when they like make actual hats of great quality, etc. I forget what they use, but it's not cardboard and it's not plastic. that oh oh that could work no that's too hard too stiff here's a piece of cardboard let's see if we can make it out of this i might mm, actually do i might do that over on the other desk, because the piece I need to trace is over there, too. Thanks for replying to my tweet. You're welcome. Seen you in another stream, but I don't know which one. You met me in Leah's stream because I mod for Leah. That is where you met me. Leah, is it Ayami? I don't know how to pronounce that, but... Yep, that's my girl. So we cut out another, these moon shapes, and then we sandwich it in between there and sew her shut. Uh-huh. Yep, Leah streams. She pops in here sometimes. She likes to hang out. Before adding the visor, you should stitch along inner area of visor. What? Divide the visor onto part and mark this line. What? Pin the visor to the front of the cap. Hmm. Oh, they use the plastic and then they straight up stitch the plastic in there. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Maybe I should just do the plastic thing. 
because it's it's a mock-up. It's not the real hat, so it's not as important. Maybe that's what I should do. I just feel bad wasting that plastic, but I can always get more of those things. Okay. Here we are. Rob of Ox. Hello, baby. It's playing Stash Dad. Hi, Geriatricus. Good to have you. Lay on base. Sir Allen. Re is it Reef Fish Guy? That's cool. Rafatori. Michael Mann's PC. <laughs> Or my home man SPC. I don't know. I score run too far west and razor razor. Hi everybody. Do the thing. Let's see. Okay, I'm looking at your pictures now. Hi, kitty cat is sleeping. It's so nice. Um, but these I'm trying to these pictures don't show me like. The layout of the room. But I'm still looking, so let's see. Um that's there. Mm hmm mm hmm So the wall, okay, the wall with the window that has the shelf with the lamp on it, where your keyboard is in this picture, how wide is that space? I mean, I'm assuming it's not very wide, but I'm just trying to get an idea. From the perspective of my recliner, there's a recliner in this room? In addition to all these other things? How? Um, let me see. So, you're sitting in it. <laughs> Can you take a picture of the whole room from the door? That would be more helpful, I think. Alright, let's take care of the battle business. What am I supposed to do? Armored units, epic enemy place units. Okay, so armored units, those are what? What gets those? Melee? Maybe? One, two, three, four. Let me have both of those. Let's do that. Or not. Hi, Basil. Where are you going? She's making a mess. Oh my gosh, cat. You are the worst. Okay. Basil. Hey, get down. She is. She be rocking. What are you doing? Huh? I'm finishing my snack. I'm determined. Streamer Cinnabon. Next, I came up with the idea of Cine Squad. That's why she calls her community Cine Squad. If you want to know. Mmm. Okay. Tanari. Hi. Um. Thank you so much for those bits. That's lovely. Thank you. How are you? Kitty. Yes, that is Basil. She is a lovely little cat. <laughs> She's also trouble when she comes in, runs around, knocks things over, and then leaves. Mm -hmm. Very talented. Okay. 
So I need to trace this plastic piece to make the brim of the hat. Making a mock-up of this men's flat cap. Anybody who is just joining. And now it's time to attach the brim. But since we're not doing it for realsies, I'm just gonna use plastic. Let me get the pattern piece. Trim that, trim this, we'll trace this. You sign the pictures from the door. Excellent, thank you. Um, and I'm not showing what I'm doing only because that camera is now facing into the room. So that's just gonna be weird. And I don't wanna move it back and forth. So I figured you'd all be understanding. Yeah, that's not on the line. Tracing is fun. Remember like in first grade or whatever, you had to cut out like hearts or other random shapes for whatever craft project in school, right? And then the teachers were really nice and they'd like give you a template and they'd make the template shapes out of like, file folders or manila envelopes or something and it was just a bit more stiff than just plain copy paper but it was enough that you could totally trace the thing without any problems I love that and every time I have to trace something that's just on paper I think about that and I'm like why can't they just be on something that's more easy more easy something that's easier to trace deep thoughts by me. All right, and I cut it, um, I traced it onto the part that has the pocket. So it's gonna be like a triple thickness hat brim, I guess. <clears throat> Instead of just a super flimsy single layer plastic. said to trace it a little bit smaller but I'm just gonna trace what I cut out what I traced and then can adjust afterward where do we put the lining in the hat like I wonder when that comes into play I'm gonna check Ta-da! This will be a hat. Like a visor! Oh, all I need is that little, like, crinkly... The, like, little... They're like lanyard things that's like... Oh, Jesus, I just poked myself in the eye. Ow! That's really sharp. Ow. Ow. I'll be here all week. <laughs> God damn it. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I was trying to be dumb and make it into a visor. Like, that stuff, it's like rubbery and like curly cued, and they make like key holder things that you like put on your arm. I don't know. But you just need that, and then you put, get a hole punch, and then you have a sweet visor. Don't even listen to me. Um, okay, so we put the brim. Oh, and then the... Wait, what? Oh, so they do the brim and then they do the lining after the brim. Kind of strange though. Oh, I see what they did. I see, okay. Um. You guys are the front. Needle should not wait. Now you sew along the inner 
area of the visor with a seam of seven millimeters. Needle should not pierce this plastic gasket. I don't know what they mean by gasket, but in this picture, the needle is definitely going through the plastic. I'll show you. Here, like that, the needle's definitely going through that. Oh, Clyde, hi. Hello. Welcome. Um, yeah, that definitely is through the plastic. Um, unless it's not. I think the visor plastic has a gasket around the edge to protect the fabric. I guess maybe I'm not sure how they're using the term gasket here because they really just like this is what we just did the top stitching then we've done this part we cut this out and then we have those two pieces although also note this piece that I cut out from their pattern has pointed edges and in this picture that we're looking at um, those are very like cut off at the top. Just, just saying. Um, size of the plastic gasket is slightly smaller than the visor. So when they say plastic gasket, they mean this part that they cut out of plastic. That's what they mean. This is very poorly written and there's a lot of non-explanation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any edging. It's not, it's very no frills from what I can see. How do I do that? Flip it. Yeah, okay. That all makes sense. But it really looks like they, that goes through there, even though they're like, no, don't do that. I'm pretty sure they did that. <laughs> Maybe they were like, needle should not pierce this plastic gasket. Maybe they mean, don't make the mistake that I made, but they're not telling us that they did in fact make a mistake. I don't know. It's fine. We're going to find out as we go. That's how this whole project has been. Yay. Love that. Super fun. Just kidding. I hate surprises. Basil, what are you doing? Okay, cat. She's like, <laughs> well, I think, hey, product development. <laughs> Something like that. Yes. Something like that. BRB. Okay. Uh, that's what I was trying to do. All right. Back to yonder place where we've been. Mm, yeah, this is what we want next. And I'm going to eat the baby bell cheese. This is the last baby bell cheese in my house. We sent measurements too, if that helps. Yes, yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. Like, uh, I don't know, a, maybe a year after I moved into this house. The living room in this house is stupid. It's super, super dark. It's painted like this dark gray color. And there's so many trees in the yard that like it's always really dark, even though it might be the most beautiful sunny spring day. It's always super dark here because of all the trees. And then the living room is just painted this dark gray color. And our landlord's wife picks out all the paint colors in the houses, in the rental houses. And you're not allowed to change them so stupid um but the living room is like a long rectangle shape and then there's like a, two doors on one wall another door on the other wall opposite of one of the other doors and then there's a, a fireplace that doesn't work and then there's like a window in the corner and figuring out how to put furniture in there so it made sense was a mess I ended up actually going online to one of those websites that you pay them money, you send them like 
a floor plan of the room and a bunch of pictures and then they like do a 3d model of your or a 3d render or whatever of your space and give you ideas of like how to rearrange the furniture because i'm terrible at thinking of that kind of stuff sponsors include baby bell cheese and nos energy drink get yours today <laughs> not wrong not wrong So the, the cover for my sewing machine is sitting behind my desk chair in front of the closet door. And it's balancing just barely on top of this flat plastic container that I hold some fabric in. And I think it just like slipped and it made a sound. And it startled Basil. So she didn't, she woke up and it startled her. And now she's like staring at the closet door. As if something's gonna come out. I don't know. I feel bad. And pears. Definitely not peaches, actually. I don't like peaches. I don't think. I don't know. The pair that I had was okay, but it was getting close to being not um, good anymore. Now I have too many pairs of scissors. Okay, so I cut this and now it's the same size as the other pieces. Which is not really what we want, obviously. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I need to cut that down. It means we need the scissors again. Too many pairs of scissors, really? That doesn't even have anything to do. One doesn't have anything to do with the other. You're allergic. Oh, you're allergic to peaches, huh? How did you find that out? And what happens if you eat them? Is it like really bad? Like your throat closes up or, I mean, if you want to show, you don't have to. I guess I'll try to trim this and do a good job without measuring shit. Uh, dicey, unlikely. I have no idea if this is going to be accurate. Well, that's already not, not great. We're just making our own microplastic. This is not bad at all. Not terrible. Don't, don't judge me. It's been three hours shaking and puking. Oh no. No peaches for you. Stay far away. That's terrible. Okay, so I guess I need to take some more off of the bottom of this. Actually, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to sew these together and then do that part. And have to take a serious dose of antihistamines. Oh, I bet. That sounds awful. Yeah, so if we stitch these together, we'll have a nice clean pocket and then the plastic can go in there and we can have it. Um, it'll make it easier to trim it. If I eat a whole peach, I'd be in the emergency room. Oh my gosh. How did you even figure out that you were allergic to peaches? Seems kind of random. Ugh, pins are put away. Are they? No, they're over here. Nope, that's a spool of thread. Where the fuck? 
is, are my pins. Here we go. Sorry, Basil. There's so much going on. And you keep going right where I want to stand. No, my feet go there. No, move. Here, let me sit right under this desk. No. Oh, I think, I hope she's going to lay in her bed. Please. We'll see. We'll see what she does. But I'm going to pin these together. No! Get the fuck out of there. No! There's like a tiny piece of hair on that plate and I knew she was going to try and go for it. No! She's over there! I'm over here! She's not getting pets right now. No! And you don't even get a refund for that, Clyde. No refund of your points, and I'm not petting her. <laughs> so there. I was living in Georgia. You avoided peaches your whole childhood. I was seventh grade and had a peach with my lunch. I had a weird reaction. Oh, jeez. That's a terrible way to find that out. Is the sitcom laugh because I said no to petting the cat and that I wasn't giving you a refund? Oh, I'm pinning the wrong side now. Go figure. Yes, okay. Usually I make a point to refund channel points, but no. Heading out for the night, sure. Good night, big beat. Take care. Um, congrats on your promotion, by the way. That's bit that act that's very big and that's really exciting and I'm very happy for you. Seizure in the lunchroom, Jesus. I thought um allergic reactions don't usually immediately go to that, but okay. No, that I'm putting things in the wrong place. Whoa. Dropped pin where here it is. Um yeah, he was telling us he got he's been he said he was part time. I I can scroll up and then I won't butcher it. You said that Ready for work tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then you didn't mention it, but you were part-time for the past year and eight months at your job. And you just got promoted to full-time starting next week. So exciting. I'm surprised Potato Hat beat the Long Dark. Me too. Me too. I think if Socks had only voted once, the results might be different. But I don't know. I don't know. So I went with what it was. I was very surprised. And it honestly feels really weird to be doing something different than playing The Long Dark on a Wednesday. Like, it feels, like, incorrect. Eh, no, no. Wait, god damn it, I keep pinning it on the wrong side. Why am I doing this? What the fuck? That's there. And then. Nope. Ow. There it goes here. Ow. <laughs> Just stabbing myself repeatedly. Oh, Clyde, you missed it. Just before you showed up, I nearly poked my eye out with this very, very sharp 
piece of plastic. It was great. <laughs> Just kidding, it wasn't. It hurt really bad. I don't think anyone clipped it, so it's basically gone forever. Oh, I guess I dropped that pin. So can somebody do an exclamation mark drop? Or I guess cage, can you do exclamation mark drop? Because I don't want, I don't want to say somebody do it and then have people do it like three times. It's like calling 911 in a crowd. If you're like, somebody call 911, no one's going to do it because they think someone else is going to do it. But if you say, you in the blue shirt, you call 911, then that dude in the blue shirt is going to do the thing and no one else. Thank you. We really got to work on this counter because I forgot about it. And I am very confident that I've dropped things more than that. Mm. You could join me in the head to go to the ER because I fucked up my eye club. Wow. No, it didn't go in my eye. It was like, right, like under my eye, like in this area, but on the other side. Okay, let's try to put the hat brim together. I guess. If we must. We'll put the sewing machine back together. At the same time. We're behind on every counter. Fucking bear, fucking wolves, and fucking pins. No, the bear and the wolf one are accurate. Those, those counters are definitely correct. Those we were much more diligent about. Fine, what are you working on? I know, Cade, you were, you were like cleaning or organizing or something and you took a break, a much, much earned and well-deserved break. Um, I don't know if anybody else shared what they were up to. This is feeling like it's trying to be really uneven. go equal thing. Mm, that's okay. All right, fine. You're still taking a break. Yeah, that's fine. In other words, I'm trying to numb myself before it rains. Ow. Okay. I mean, do whatever you need to do. You did a lot of stuff. You should rest. If you do too much at once or too much in one day, then you'll just like burn yourself out and not be able to do more. Like you'll have to stop the whole thing. I was also thinking if we magically finish the hat somewhat quickly, then like in theory we could we could still play the long dark it's potentially possible it'd be like a reward or something for finishing something in a fast manner for the first time in my whole life
Mm, that's not gonna do what I want. You're still in the land of wood filler. I thought you might be. Ow. There's a pin there. So I need a desk that's only 20 inches deep and it would fit. Desks that are only 20 inches deep suck. Personally, hate them. But I know they're like the standard. They make me so unhappy because I can't put anything on the fucking desk. Um, this black thing here, it's only 18 inches deep. Okay. I thought you were more concerned about the width. Remember? You had that desk and it was four inches off. So one thing at a time. One thing at a time. How did they... Did I just sew this together wrong? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> Let's look. Let me go back here. Yes. Yes, I totally did that wrong. Way to fucking go. Amazing. Four inches was the depth, not the width. I don't, dude, I don't remember the specifics, but the way I understood it was like, you were trying to fit it in with all your other stuff and it was like four inches off. I assumed width, I don't know. But if it was four inches too big, then, I don't know, to me, the depth seems like it would be less important because the width is gonna be like if you have like pieces of furniture lined up along a wall basically i don't know we gotta yank all this that i just said that's what i get for like being really optimistic and thinking i might possibly finish something in a somewhat fast or reasonable manner I tell you i got jokes Mm -hmm. How annoying. At least it's just one seam though and not a bunch more. I would have to go look in Discord and see if you said width. I really don't remember. I thought it was width. But that's what I, my understanding was. But that may or may not have been what you said. It can be different things, absolutely. That's why I ended up frustrated. The tiniest bedroom. Yeah, happens. The room that I'm in right now is super, super small. This room is very small. And it drives me insane. Because there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. Like, dream-wise or whatever, and I can't because it's just too small. The smallest room in the house, aside from the bathroom. But there are ways to make things work in small spaces. Like, there's a lot you can do. Just depends on what you have available, so on and so forth. Whenever I'm looking for a desk, I always check the measurements first and, like, double, triple check them before ordering anything. I mean, I'm assuming you measured first, but... Is it... Did it not fit because it was too big to get through the door? Or what was the issue? Because if it's... If that's the case, disassemble the fucking thing and reassemble it in the room where it's gonna live. I've totally done that. We did that with our last couch. It was like a big sectional thing it was like one of the ikea ones but in our the townhouse that we lived in before this house 
we had a big loft area upstairs and that was basically our living room. Yeah, it's actually a really, really cool space. But, oh no, you could absolutely not get that up the stairs. Not at all. So we just assembled it in the space where it was going to stay. Works well. And then we moved, we disassembled it and hauled it down the stairs. And then it didn't really fit in this living room at all. So we sold it. And then naturally, wherever we move next, we'll... We'll probably be like, man, I wish we still had that. Because <laughs> that is 100% how it goes. And this is hurting my hand, but not the hand that's doing the work. It's the other one. Depth of the desk. That corner is empty now. I made room for the width. You just couldn't squeeze it in between the wall and the dresser. I had more interest in the dresser. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at those pictures and stuff and see what you're saying. And so, wait, are you trying to put it in place of that black thing that was holding your keyboard, or... Yeah, it, I mean, it can be a little bit hard to explain, but it's okay. You're also not obligated to explain any of this to me. I'm just... I don't know. I, f I feel obligated to help for some reason. I don't know why I feel that way. <laughs> I generally don't feel obligated toward anyone for anything, but... I don't know. Willing to give pointers where I can. I am really, I am really good at like organizing, like cleaning, organizing, and rearranging someone else's space. I used to have friends that would have me come over and they would be like, this room is insane and like super messy, whatever, and I would clean it for them. And then like, They'd be like, I want to rearrange my furniture, what can we do? Or I'm having this problem arranging things. And I'd be like, alright, give me a minute. And then I'd figure it out for them. So I'm good at it for other people, but when it comes to my own living spaces, I'm horrible at it. Trying to replace the wobbly black shelf desk thing. Okay, so that's the space where it will go. All right. Okay. I'm... I won't know more until I look at those pictures. Or the recent picture you sent or whatever, but... Then my brain is like, man, if only we had an accurate floor plan with measurement. And obviously that is asking too much, but... Just brainstorming ideas like maybe it could go on a different wall. I don't know. I can't believe you have a recliner in that room though. That seems very cramped. Like, I don't know, not to be a dick, but like, does the recliner really need to be in there? My hand hurts. Just pulling out all these stitches because I stitched it the way I absolutely should not have. Okay, okay. I don't know. 
I don't know what, just, what I'm supposed to say there. Sorry. No. I wanted a computer chair. Your sister thought this would be more comfy after your neck surgery. Oh. So how long have you had this recliner? I mean, I don't know. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it for that. Like, couldn't it go in, like, I don't know, the living room or something? And ripping out those stitches. I have dislodged some of my overlock stitches. And now it'll all unravel literally and figuratively. Fantastic. <sighs> mm, okay. Okay, five years in December. Okay, so you've had the chair for a while. For a while. Is there any other room I can go in? You can get that chair out of that room and it's gonna free up like so much more space for you. So we need to sew these together inside out, which I was thinking, but yeah. Come up a new couch, there's no room for it because I haven't gotten a new chair. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You have too much furniture in a tiny little room. It's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> um, I guess I'll pop over here and do this battle thing really quickly. can also check your messages and see the picture that you're talking about. Oh, I see where the recliner is. Oh. Okay. Oh, that gives me an idea. There's a wall there. I assume that's the closet. And then that's along that wall. Okay. I see. I mean, we turn it down size. Obviously, went too big on the desk. It's fine. It's fine. So, okay, wait. So, you wanted the desk for your computer to go on because that black shelf thing is wobbly or like what was the specific reasoning again because i'm also looking at this and like on the one hand if like your computer is hooked up to that tv screen if you just have like a wireless keyboard and stuff like dude you'd be set you wouldn't even have to worry about it you just keep using the tv as your monitor and then just have a wireless keyboard and stuff and you'd be good you'd really be set you wouldn't have to worry about it wall to the edge of the dresser it's 20 inches to what edge wobbly and the cats love it and they sit oh right 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 they sit on the fan and it overheats okay well, where is the pc at like where is that box where is the box that the cats sit on and make it overheat is, is it on the floor I'm assuming it's on the floor. But I mean, keeping the cat, if the whole, if the whole big issue is keeping the cats off of it, that is much more easily solved than getting a desk. Definitely easier ways to take care of that. Next where let's keep looking. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let me let me look at this. Okay. Size of an Xbox One. Okay. Oh, I see it there on the table. Okay, next to the keyboard. I see it. I see it. Um. Why don't you get um one of these? Just like we're gonna come back over here. Why don't like do you have a monitor stand like one of these things? Because you could just set that on top of it, and then the cats can lay on this, and it would keep them off of the box, so it won't overheat. It would totally be the right size. Close that. Okay. Okay, back to um back to over here. How the hell is it eleven twenty? When did that happen? Where where was I? Wow. Okay, so we're gonna pin this again. What I really need is a shelf to put your explanation on. Yeah, get some shelves on the wall. Because if you put the stuff on the wall, then it doesn't take up any floor space. You're gonna get a second monitor. In addition to the giant TV, you don't have room for a second monitor. You have room for either one TV or two monitors, not a TV and a monitor. That does not work with the space that you have. But yeah, mounting shit up on the wall, that is absolutely the way to go, especially with small space. You could even, like, I don't know, you could mount the TV on the wall. You could mount the, the PC on the, on the wall. You could mount whatever the hell you want on the wall at this point. Ow. Ow. And here, here. That's why I wanted a wider desk. Just, okay, but just because you want a wider desk doesn't mean that it's gonna work. <laughs> the wall is like thin poster board shit. It's a trailer. Well, that's also what I'm saying. It's like a balance between what you want, what we want in our like ideal scenario, and then taking that and working with the within the per, parameters no within the bounds of reality are not always the same and not always the most happy or exciting but we got to do what we got to do all right I can only try to help. I don't, I never said I had all the solutions. Well, yes, the wall would lose. I mean, I wasn't, I was not specifically saying to mount the TV on the wall. That's probably not a good idea. But smaller things like, I don't, I don't know what kind of shit you have. Smaller things, use the walls, use whatever you can. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, let's try to sew these together the right way this time. Hopefully.
right? Being able to mount a 20 inch monitor and arm thingy though. None of that, none of that. Right now we're working on, like you have the situation with the desk and we're trying to make that work. That's the first problem. You're getting ahead of yourself again. No second monitors, no second monitors just yet. But at the same time, do what you want to do. But you might be creating more problems for yourself. Okay, I guess we just, uh, that's not really how we want that. Whatever. Oh, those are not, that's not even, nope, that's, that is not even. Oh well. Yep, that's definitely not even all like hanging over here at the top that's, that's not what we want is it enough that it matters that's what is to figure out avenging pineapple hello what a wonderful name it's a cool sewing machine you're making god damn it i forgot i forgot that this is the thing I didn't know people made sewing machines on Twitch. Yep. I was born, baby, I was born this way. <laughs> Been making sewing machines since I could crawl. I don't know. Sorry, I don't have a more clever answer. Uh, I'm gonna redo these because it just is not. I don't want to have to cut it. So if I undo some of these stitches, then I can make it line up. New desk. The next project, we're going to be building a workbench for the porch. Hoping to be on to the next thing. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Sometimes things happen and that's okay. Do you make your own sewing machines from scratch or do you buy a kit? Um, they're definitely all made from scratch. Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's really fucking off. What the shit? All of this goes just fine and then it doesn't. Love that so much. The making a sewing machine thing has caught on. Why do you think that is? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I tried. I tried to have good answers. <laughs> you win, I guess. Ow. Mm, okay, so I need to do a little bit more. I was in a good mood and now I feel like kind of crabby. I don't know why. Ow. <laughs> that goes there. This, there's somewhere where it's going to be like the spot that I need to add a notch or something to fix, but this is not it. Silly me. 
thinking I might get this done in a reasonable manner. I knew it was too good to be true. So this is here. Yes. And then these pieces come down here. Okay, so it's somewhere right down in the next little section. Mm, nope. I tried to do the thing where you snip one stitch and then you snip the other one like five stitches down from it and you can just pull the whole thing out. But that didn't work. Oh wait, it did, kind of, mm, or not. Aha, okay, it did work. I was just too scared to pull on the string, the thread like as much as it needed to be. Almost there. Uh, I don't know about that. Could always play the long dark anyway as a break. I mean, like double parentheses as a treat. Maybe. I was also thinking like we could also just do a double and like work on the hat, and then after I go eat, I could always come back and play it, and we could do a late night stream, which is kind of like the actual usual. I don't feel like I need a break from the hat. Like, I'm not grumpy re in relation to the hat or anything. Yeah, that's not... That part's not a problem. My... It could be, like because I was like interrupted and that bugs me sometimes. I don't know. I don't, I don't like when he comes in and like talks at me from the hallway when I'm in the middle of something. I don't know. Will the lineup? Maybe that's, maybe that is adequate. If I do it this way, that comes down here and here. You like that should do it. Let's try it, I guess. If we go from this way, then they should meet in the center. It's either going to be a terrible idea or a good idea. Me harping on the desk, huh? You have that effect on this cage. No. Like, you are great and all, but I, I, I don't know if this will be like upsetting and I hate to break it to you, but you will never be the source of a bad mood or like anything like that. <laughs> no, no, that will never happen. So I went over the pin. I guess I'll keep working on this. On this line. I didn't really finish what I was saying. Hi, I have a question. Yes? I forgot about my free cheese pizza. Do I order that now for midnight? <laughs> uh, I, why are you asking me? Well, so what's the question? Pizza? But you're making salmon. I know. Do I just like keep it for tomorrow or something? Are you asking if we can eat pizza instead? Oh no. Well, you should figure that out. 
Maybe, maybe I just want cold pizza for tomorrow. Do I not get to have any of it? Yeah. Well, figure out what you want to do and then... <laughs> well, it's either like $5 or not $5. I don't know. <laughs> Clyde says get the pizza. <sighs> How many hours does it take to make a sewing machine? 72. Tell that guy to get a new sweatshirt. Oh, I know. It's free, right? Just order him. Tell him what to do. <laughs> um, they sent, okay, wait. They sent me something about a free pizza as well, though. <laughs> Let me check my email before you do that. <laughs> uh, so, so many things. The fuck? Oh, Nintendo reset my password. Okay. Well, yes? I was going to tell you about it. Personal space. Are you serious right now? Can you just chill? I know I gave you half of an edible, but like, whoa. Um, let me find it. Here it is. Oh, what? It says, onion lovers, prepare to happy cry. Get a large one topping for $10. Oh, expires 727. Never mind, that was yesterday. <laughs> do whatever you were gonna do. Yeah. Two free pizzas. No, only one, and it's a medium, which is sad. Can you at least like add a topping to it? You can't hear me. Can you at least get a, like a topping on it, like sausage or something? Huh? Well, yeah, but it's not free if you get it delivered anyway. Cheese by itself sucks. I will give you $3 or whatever the fuck. No. Uh, I was gonna cut a notch. Fuck. It's not 200 for how long? Not even. Nope. This. I didn't need a notch either. It's just fucked up. <laughs> I get a. Rip out the stitches from the other end. Those must be some good edibles. That guy seems like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> Can be though. Um, this must be some good edibles. Um, they're decent. Sausage, um, <laughs> even if it's just plain pizza with sausage, like that's fine. I just want something on it that's in addition to cheese because like texture. And it will be more filling if there are more toppings on it. And since it's only a medium. Um. Onions are nice. Mushrooms? Onions and mushrooms? Oh, that'd be tasty. Sausage, or Italian sausage, mushroom, onions. That's pretty good, right? Um, yeah, the, um, the edibles, yeah, they're decent, but he, Dan is a lightweight. He does not partake in things that often. And can you stop? <laughs> um, so he's easily affected by things. So, and that's like medications, all of it. So he doesn't have edibles that often, but they work. I, ga I gave him a hybrid and 
he and they're squares of 10 so he's had five he is set usually i give him a one to one or even a two to one but i'm out of those so A plus pizza. Hey, thanks. You could dump him, marry money, and then you could buy all the sewing machines you want and never have to make another one again. I could, but that whole marrying money part, that's the tricky part. <laughs> make it sound so simple. Okay. Two thirds, of, two thirds of it was the tip. One third was the toppings. Okay. Can you give me? Is that where we're eating then? Oh, wait. What? You ordered pizza and we can't eat it? I mean, I did everything except for the salmon, so I can I can afford it right now if you want to get. Do that well, tomorrow. make up your mind. They're, like, why would we have fresh pizza sitting here and then not eat it? What the fuck? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> What? <laughs> Why would you have pizza delivered to your house and then just not eat it? Why would you do that? Five milligrams. I wouldn't even notice that. Yeah, everyone's different. How hard can it be to land a rich guy? I don't know. You tell me, because I don't know. Plus, rich is relative. He makes decent dollars. Gonna use clips only because then they're gonna hold it in place while I'm messing with things. Pineapple, were you here on Sunday night? I feel like I saw your name somewhere in there, but I don't know. What I'm going to do, um, because this thing is being super weird and it's not going to line up fully. I did the top part here. I'm going to flip it around and come back around this way. And so then maybe it'll kind of like meet in the middle. Like in this part, and then I can fix it. What does he do? Buy, trade, and sell Star Trek collector plates? No. My mom had some Star Trek collector plates, though. <laughs> Never been here before. False. You have. Because you always come in, and you're always like, you always say something completely outlandish about what I'm doing, and it always fucks with me, and I fall for it every time. At least this time I remembered. It's okay to be yourself. Do people like ban you for that shit in other channels? Like I'm just genuinely curious. Cause I can totally see like, I don't know. There's a lot of really like straight up people in makers and crafting. And they take the shit super seriously. So I could see them getting bent out of shape about it. It's like on the channels where people are like, don't you dare talk about yourself ever. And don't post links. And only talk about positive topics. And they have like a laundry list of rules. Blah. Those are not my people. I've seen pineapple get banned. Oh shit. Some people say it as a joke. It is. A lot of people get really mad. Okay. Yep. I can definitely see that. It doesn't surprise me at all. It doesn't make me mad. It fucks with me. And I'm always like, what the fuck do I do with this? I'm autistic. I don't get these jokes. Like, I get it to a point. 
And then I'm like, I got nothing, dude. <laughs> it's fine. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna, ow. Ow. So people get extremely mad, like, as in they ban you, or extremely mad at how? Kai Fang, what is that? When have you seen me mad? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to Cage? What are you saying? So then that should come down this way. Shit just does not want to do what I would like for it to do. It's just like I cut it wrong somewhere along the way. And if I snip that, that's, I think that's still not going to be right, but, but, but it might, it might I just get rid of that part of it. Really? Really? This is frustrating. Why can't I have nice things work the way I want them to work? Ow. But yes, I had the other half of the edible that I gave him. And I don't even notice it, so. Everybody's different. What? They banned me or scold me? Not you being me. Yeah, you getting banned by a mass streamer. Sometimes you can get the name for an hour or more. Are you serious? A lady was making plushies. I accused her of making voodoo dolls. Oh, that's amazing. And asked if she was a voodoo priestess. That's fabulous. A couple months ago. Mods in a lot of streams. I've only seen you mod in like one, I think. But I don't know your life. Super tempted to cut that, but if I cut that, then bad things will happen, so I'm not going to. What the shit? A couple months ago. then okay so when it's laying like this it's almost perfect except that it's not and by perfect i just mean laying flat oh let's see what it's doing let me see okay so that part is a bit big but could make it work mod eight or nine streams now jeez i think it's really i'm just gonna flat out say it. i think it's really fucking weird when people are like people like to like brag about how many streams they mod for or something like i've totally seen that places i'm like okay it's like a super weird flex but like all right <laughs> i don't know how pins i just think that's super a super weird thing but to each their own i guess I mean, it does also make sense that somebody who mods in one stream might mod in another stream because, like, you see... I Cage, I know you don't. I'm not talking about you. I'm saying I've seen people who do this. I do not mean you ever. Unless I say, Cage, you did this thing. Unless I specify, I probably never mean you. Just for the record. Um, but, I mean, it makes sense because you're in a stream and you see this person and they're mod and you can tell you can like see them at work and you're like oh yeah they do a good job then when it 
is in your own channel, then you're like, oh, I would like that person to do that for me because I know I can, I have references. I know that they're good at that. Like Christian, Christian mods for me. And he also mods for Carbon Chic. I don't know if he mods for anybody else, but I know those two. And I know, like, I, I think I had him mod for me, like, it was either, like, literally right at the same time as she did. I don't know. Okay, so when I have these in quarters, it's all the fucking same. Which doesn't make any sense. It's so obnoxious. One second, and I will check the chat. Hmm. I guess. <laughs> Try this sometime. Go to the music channel. Oh, the music category. Find someone playing an instrument with both hands. Talk about how bad their nose itches. Tell them again and again that their nose itches while they play. Oh, that's fucking mean. But that's really funny. Get referrals. That's weird. That's like, no, I don't. I feel like that's not a thing anywhere. I don't know. Maybe that happens with like new streamers or something. I don't know. I also think it's strange when people are brand brand new streamers and they have like five mods. I'm like, why though? Doesn't seem necessary. But to each their own. I that people can trust me. I don't take it lightly. For sure, for sure. And like, I've been in some other streams where you, I see people and they're like asking to be a mod or they like beg the streamer and they're like, make me a mod, make me a mod. Like, what the fuck? Why? That's so weird. Super, super weird. I know there's a battle, there's always a fucking battle, so we just gotta wait a bit. It's this spot here in the middle. That's too big. Not too big, it's just like cut slightly differently so that it is going to bunch up. There's just too much fabric and it, I don't know if there's a way to make it do the thing, but maybe it'll be okay because it's not, it's a guided story, it's not a game. You forgot senpai, excuse. Mind me please, hey streamer, notice me, mind me please. I thought, isn't it like, no notice me senpai, is that the thing? I've seen it many places but I don't necessarily like get all of it what was what was the other word what was one of those it was one of the other words that they banned at the beginning of the year you only ask one person in the spec and I didn't know any better who did you ask who did you ask tell us tell us I almost modded you Clyde remember I gave you an option I did it was like, Clyde, do you want to be a mod or do you want VIP? Because I had given you VIP. Then I was like, you pick. And you picked VIP, which is fine. I think that's probably better for you. <sighs> I'm pulling out more stitches. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm doing it. I don't need the power. Just have a pull running all the time. That's not a bad thing. That could be fun. <laughs> could be fun. What would the polls be about? Just like any random thing? Because that's also the, that's also the thing is like sometimes those are things that make good mods. Is like 
there's people who come up with fun weird shit that like engages people then like that's actually really useful Is she using enough clips? Will the cat get in the Fuji spray box when she opens it? Oh good, so you noticed the box. So many options. Ugh, don't tempt me. I can I don't right now I don't have any mods because Christian's not here and Kibby went to bed. Not that there's officially a need for one. I think it would be really nice if they allowed you to just like give people certain permissions so I could be like Yes, Clyde is VIP. Yes, Clyde can make as many polls as he wants. Or predictions or whatever. And then like not let you do other things. So I was gonna order the whip hose for the sprayer. And I forgot that on their website so on like the day that i ordered the sprayer i was looking on their website and it said they were gonna be closed or their phone support or whatever was gonna be closed from like i don't know the 27th through the 30th or something and then all orders during that time would be processed on like august 5th or something like that and i was like oh fuck that that's way too late so then i ordered it like the day before their cut off because i didn't want to wait um, so then I went back to call them about the whip hose and remembered that they are closed. So if I want it from them, I will have to wait until like at least August 5th or whatever. And then like I could, yes, I could get it elsewhere. So I don't know. I might buy it from Amazon because they have it and I wouldn't be paying shipping but I might not order from them we shall see because I can still use the thing without that hose I could just get the hose later a man at arms oh yeah I don't know who that is okay so this is what I want to do with this I want to like Align it in the center so that part makes sense and then deal with the edges. In which we end up taking the whole thing apart. Because why would, why would I do something that was quick ever? Why? Though I do appreciate the person earlier who was like, oh, you overlocked all those pieces. You obviously care about quality. Such a nice thing for them to say. I don't know, I think... I don't know what I was going to say. I think many things, <laughs> but like I knew where I was going, but with what I was saying, but whatever. I don't need to share that. I already mentioned it once somewhere else and I got crickets. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to take a pill, two pills before pizza happens. Mm. Let me do that. First I will set up this goddamn battle bit. Then I will go to that thing. Well, this happens. Okay.
Oh, it's zooming. I'm looking at a different window and it's like zooming in and out on the battle, which was not what I intended to occur. I was scrolling because Clyde's name shows the little bit ba bits badge next to it. And then I was like, oh, I wonder who else is here that has one because I was looking. I wanted to look at them in action because I recently redid all of the bits badges. So now they're all mushrooms and they're all adorable and they all look really, really nice. Let's see, which way do you want to go? Oh, that's, that's why four. Ooh, okay, maybe there. Nope, we're gonna go across the top. Again, always pretty much. Oh, and also, I said there. So, what does this one do? Uh, just gonna go this way. Okay. Now, now we're gonna go back to the, the sewing. Poor little kitten. Grumpy. Okay. All right, so I was trying to which scenes first of all <laughs> wow no one told me you were all just gonna let me sit back down here without switching the scene back i see how it is i see i see I was impressed that you had some way to switch scenes for your iPad. I wish. I fucking wish there was a way to control OBS from the iPad. If I was using shitty Streamlabs, there's a way to do it there. But regular OBS does not. I mean, there's also like Stream Decks, which I do not have and I don't really understand them so yeah i feel like clips like don't hold things as tightly as pins i don't know Who knows, maybe somebody somewhere has written something to make it so you can control OBS externally, but the problem with a lot of those like add-ons, web sockets, whatever the fuck, the problem is that people don't like label their shit well enough so that it's discoverable. So like it might be out there. But the person who made it gave it some convoluted name that doesn't make any sense. So you'd have no way of knowing that that's what it was for, if that makes sense. I feel like that happens frequently with OBS content. There's a Stream Deck app for iPhone. Hmm. Thanks, Paul, for the hot tip. Can somebody spam Katrina's hot tip emotes? Because I love that one. I'm gonna look that up on my iPad, I guess. 1010, speaking of spam, hi 1010, how are you? 
let's see. Well, that's not how you spell that, so that's why I didn't find anything. Um, there's Streamlabs deck. Don't want any Streamlabs shit. Touch portal to optimize your workflow. Mm. Paul, do you know like the specific name of the thing? There's something called up deck that says control deck for streamers. But yeah, I don't know. It's by Elgato. Of course it is. I I don't know. For some reason that name just like blah, makes me mad. Here it is. Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. Hmm. Works with what you love. Works with all these things. Okay, go live, activate scenes. Um, in a little while? Uh huh. Okay, I'm not trying to do this all night. I just, I'm not a stopping point. Okay. Let's see what happens with this. We'll download it and we'll see about it. Yeah, I don't know. I think the Elgato name like instantly annoys me because of the whole like thing where everyone thought they had to have a capture card for everything. And they thought that the Elgato capture card was literally the only one in the whole world. And so like that name has become so synonymous with stuff and it's just like so unnecessary because their shit is way overpriced for no reason. I think maybe that's what my issue is. So right now this is lining up. I haven't sewn any of it. So we'll see what happens once it is all connected. But yeah. Kiki Hot 23. Hi. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna just go down this side and hopefully it won't fuck up again. I'll admit, I like the stream deck, but yeah, like their mics and lights and shit are stupid expensive for no reason. Uh huh. Exactly. I don't really have any opinion on stream decks because I've never used one and I just like, I don't know, I don't fully get it. So that's why I don't really have an opinion. on it. But I know they're not the only people who make them either. Like there's other people who make stream decks. So like, why? I don't know. It's just like, it's just to me, like the Elgato name is like, you might as well have the shitty fucking chair too. <laughs> like, it's all the same in my head. It's like the pro streamer package. Gotta have the shitty chair. Gotta have shitty lights. You gotta have the Razer mic or the Razer camera with the light on it. You gotta have those stupid fucking headphones with the fucking cat ears on them. The plastic ones. Not like weird. Not like other shit that people do later on their own. That's different. Ah. The sewing machine cover fell off. It's fine. Huh? Eye drops? What? That's not a command, but why are you trying to make eye drops a command? Uh, the stream decks are really nice and well made. The small screen hardware is hard to source quality versions of. What do you mean by the small screen hardware? What are we making? We're making a hat. We're making a men's flat cap, actually. Um, when I go back over to the other desk, I will be able to pull up a picture of it. But 
a men's flat cap, like newsy cap, but less pillowy on top. So I'm working on the brim. I sewed it like way wrong at first. I tend to do things way wrong the first time and then we like work our way back to the right way. All the buttons on the stream deck are little screens. Oh, uh, okay. I think I've seen that, but I wasn't sure if that's actually what it was. Tiny screens that you can put any image on, and those tiny screens are really good quality, which is rare for your product. Got it, got it. Well, the clones have shitty screens because there's only a few manufacturers that make them right now. Okay. Aren't they really expensive, too? I thought... Um, I have literally never looked into it, but how, like, are they really expensive? You keep rubbing your eye, usually put in eye drops right there for hours of the stream. You've timed me. <laughs> Amazing. Um, no, my eyes aren't dry or my, I usually do eye drops when my contacts get blurry and they're not blurry or anything. I'm just fidgety and fidgeting for me is like not itching my nose. My nose just itches a lot. Um, nah. Accidentally pushing buttons. That's not what I wanted. What the fuck did I do? No. I don't know. I pushed something accidentally. Um, anyway. Oh, that's what I did. What was I saying? Uh, oh, no, I'm just fidgety. So for me, fidgeting is like, I might touch my eye or I play with my hair a lot or my hands just like move. It's just the thing. Hair across the not that much more than a mechanical keyboard. 150, I think. That depends on your mechanical keyboard. 150 is really cheap for a mechanical keyboard. But you can make them do almost anything on a button press. Nice. Mine, 15 button version for 160. So not cheap, but not breaking the bank either. Hm. Yes, so for me, that just seems like a lot of money for what it is. But I, I have also said that I, I know I don't have like a proper appreciation for it or whatever. So that makes sense too. Since I don't value it, that's why I'm like, oh, that's too much. But yes, I can see why that might be useful when you're not at the desk. Damn it, why do you have to give me these ideas? Okay, so this last bit might get tricky. We'll see. Officers. Oh, it's just an observation. Try to find ways to be helpful. Yes. I know, you always try to be helpful and you always remind me. It's fine. That cannot stay there because of flip. Okay. This is going to 
cooperate. I don't know. Definitely not perfect. That's okay. It's a guided story, not a game. Which just means that it's a mock-up, not the real thing. Guided story, not a game, was from when I played Firewatch. That's not... This is going to need to be trimmed down. Just a bit. Um, yeah. From when I played Firewatch, because I've been playing The Long Dark... I was like, survival game, let's go! Which, that would be really cool if it was actually a survival game. But a guided story. You can't do anything. What occasions would you wear this hat? I have no idea. But the hat um, would not probably be for me. Yep. I'm making the hat to see if I can make the hat. Because Cage had asked me if I could make a hat. I said I did not know. But I'm willing to find out. So this process is the finding out. Um, let's go over to the desk and then I'll just show um Kiki and I guess Ten Ten. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, we can show people. This is the picture from the tutorial site, so it's just a standard flat flat cap. And then I can trace the edge of this again. A lot of can we make the hat, but not should we make the hat. That's true. Why shouldn't I though? What's wrong? Like why? Sh I mean, maybe I should make the hat to see if I can. How about that, hmm? This is not going to be very accurate. We I have a fine dib sharpie and I'm like kind of running it along the inside of one of the uh, like overlocked seams to kind of ballpark where I want it. It's gonna be very interesting. There we go. There there we go. There we go. Uh, yes. There we go. There's the 1010 content we're here for. How many more weeks do you anticipate it will take to complete? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm trying to be optimistic. Thanks for that. I'm trying to be optimistic. And hope oh, that it won't take very long. I anticipate hopefully not more weeks, but rather maybe a, maybe a couple of days because we're not finishing it tonight because I don't feel like streaming all night long. Unless people like really wanted me to, in which case, sure, whatever. What is a 12 hour stream? What, what's a 12 hour stream except a Wednesday or a Tuesday or whatever the fuck? Two, I didn't say months. Rude. 10 10. Rude. Let's see how it is. Goes and gets the burn cream. I mean, is it a burn if I don't feel burned? Okay, so I should be able to sew along this edge, which will kind of secure that plastic piece in here. I am going to double check that that's what they want me to do. Let's see, let's see. Okay, cut out the plastic, we did that. Mm, sew it that way, okay. And so they trimmed along the outer edge. Okay, I guess we can do that. And then they flipped it inside out and then did that. Okay, so trim the seam allowance, flip it inside out and put the, put the plastic piece back in it and then pin it. Can do. 
what do you think about putting another pool stream on the calendar? I am open to it. I am open to it. Yeah, that's my answer. Like, yes, I would do that again. There's some interesting responses to the one that I did do. But overall, yes, I would do it again. Still debating whether I would do it again on my own channel or on a different channel. I feel like I would just do it on my own channel because, duh. So, okay, so I need to trim this. You have multiple channels. Um, well, te technically at this point, I think I have like four Twitch accounts at this point, but um, like the one I stream on is this one. I did make a second one, a secondary channel with the potential to broadcast from it, yes. Because when I was first planning or brainstorming and looking into doing a pool stream, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that on my own channel or if I wanted to make a separate channel just for that. Yeah, it has $40 a month access to the other one, cash only at the door. You tell them. Clyde knows. Um, no, I made a second, a second, I made another Twitch account because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a pool stream on my channel or if I should make another channel and do that as its own separate thing. I think it got like 20 followers or 17 or something like that, but eh, nothing has been streamed from it. Maybe it'll get used someday. Maybe it won't. I would probably just use my, this account anyway. Cause then I think it's to be a huge pain in the ass to like sort out like which account made the dollars, blah, 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 blah. And that would just be annoying. So I guess we trim the outside of this a little bit. That seems scary. Like not leaving much to work with. I don't really like that person who came in on Sunday. Um, somebody I definitely haven't seen since the pool stream, and I think they came in with the pool stream. But can you put something he like heavy enough on top of it that doesn't sink it in, or put it in the oven but the oven is turned off? In the oven, no heat is a good idea. She doesn't have thumbs, so should be safer um oh but the person who came in on sunday who was like they didn't even say hi they just came in and they were like did anybody figure out what the tattoo says that made me laugh a lot i still am i am still amused by it that's obviously because i'm telling you about it duh Okay. Trimmed some of this. That doesn't seem very secure. It's almost something where I'm like, mm, do I overlock that again? Maybe on like the real hat, but maybe not on this one. Or I could just zigzag it. Maybe I'll just zigzag it. But then, fuck, do I have to change the foot? Mm. J foot, which I want to say is not this one. No, it is. Okay, cool. We'll zigzag it. I could have sworn that zigzag used a different foot. I don't know.
Oh, wait. Fuck. I can't do that. Is that what they did? Hold on. I'm not going to do that. It's probably a mistake. Because if I do that, then when I go to turn this inside out, then I have, like, all of this sticking up that I can't, like, fold flat. BL Dagger. Hi. Welcome in. Thank you for that follow. I really appreciate that. How are you this evening? Or this time zone? I don't know where you're at, so. She's drinking out of this cat fountain and I have been terrible and I need to clean the fountain. It's like barely moving. So, yep, ripping out more stitches, don't mind me. It's kind of the theme of the evening, I think. I think it was on that. Well, come on. Try to make it more secure. Probably is just going to make it worse because when I was trimming it, that kind of cuts off the overlocked stitching, which is not great, but whatever. Basil, shut up! She's so annoying. She makes the worst sounds in the whole world. I really, I, I feel like I sound like I'm just complaining right now, and I promise I'm not. But she will go and she makes these like high pitched, like terrible warbly sounds because she can't meow properly, and she like half learned it from our other cat and. She's just terrible at it. Where do you, where do you think you're going? The fuck do you think you're doing, cat? There are literally needles over here. Go, go away. <laughs> Basil, what are you doing? Forte, hi. Hello, hello. This is a potato hat, yes. Um, it was not, it's not, a, it's not intended to be a potato hat. It wasn't on purpose, but a mock-up. And the fabric that I had on hand happens to be potato print. And it's been a big hit. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah, we've got potatoes around the side of it. And then stripes are on top. And I'm working on the brim of the hat right now. Trying to get rid of my mistakes. What are you up to this evening? Basil, why are you sitting on top of all the cut fabric pieces that I'm not using right now? Why are you like this? They're not even square shaped. few more stitches to get rid of. And then when you get down to the end, it's kind of all just a jumble. Because there's all of the, like, I don't know, securing stitches or whatever you want to call them. So you have to go through all of those. Okay, so that should be fine. I just need to re-ditch that so they are, you know, together. Such a little mess of threads. 
They're all the short ones. Okay. Let's fix this edge and then turn the thing inside out. Try to get somewhere. <clears throat> it's right about there. gonna turn it inside out. I'm not gonna try and mess with it anymore. Ooh, well, <laughs> the prototype, it doesn't matter. You can totally see all the outlines of the um, overlocked edges. Ugh. Like, um, maybe you can see it. I don't know. Yeah, you can see all of the overlocked stitching. That's not generally what we want. It's a guided story. I know. <laughs> I know it's a guided story. Every five minutes or less, I tell myself that it's a guided story. But thank you once again for that reminder. So then this is supposed to go in here. Now I should probably iron it, that will help. I don't know if that goes on top of or below or what or if I'm supposed to like sandwich it in between these two pieces of fabric that seems less likely all right let's do this battle thing and then I will press it over here at the desk And that way they trimmed that off and then they just flipped it inside out and put the plastic in it. Okay. Before adding the visor, you should stitch along the inner area of the visor. What the fuck did they mean by the inner area? Divide the visor in two parts and mark this line. I think, oh, they mean like the halfway point so that you can center it onto the cap. That's what they're talking about. I still don't know what the stitching thing is that they're saying, but it's fine. It's fine. Basil, you're gonna have to move. I need to iron. Thank you. Yes, into your little bed. up hmm. not sure what the best way is to do this I'm just gonna try and flatten it as much as I can I guess steam or no steam Okay. 
What is this thing? Oh, well, whatever. Um, increase the spray bottle, I guess. Oh, it's right here. I thought it was over by the plant. That's usually where it lives. Um, change the scene before I go back over there. Four dollars a month. That sounds more like a steep OnlyFans than a Twitch channel. really hot. And then I don't know, I did not make, I didn't make the rates, so I don't know if it's a Twitch channel or a steep OnlyFans. Clyde's the one who said it, so he probably knows. Is it going to be like folded to one side or the other, which is kind of weird? It's four, oh, it's 40 at the door. That's right. That's right. You can find out what it is on the other side. <laughs> Wonderful. $40 cover charge. That's what he's trying to say. $40 cover charge. No sampler. Why should you? Why should you get a sampler? I feel like the, are the Twitch streams not the sampler? Like, are my Twitch streams not the sampler then? Yeah, it's called the sign out front. There you go. Amazing. So I guess I just have to iron this until it's dry because I used probably too much water. Wait, so what is the sign out front? Because that, that one's news to me. <laughs> okay, so on this brim, we have stripes and potatoes. Which one should be face up? Like potatoes on top or stripes on top? Oh, that's gonna be tough, especially because the stripes are on the top of the hat, of the main part of the hat, but the potatoes go around the side. Mmm, that's gonna be tricky. Stripes on the bottom. <clears throat> I think we're on the same page. My sign out front equals you saying your Twitch stream is a sampler. Okay. Fine by me. I'm putting zero thought into this because you started it. <laughs> This is really warm. Is it dry though? I still don't know if it's actually dry. Hmm. You're taking a cut. Yeah, are you? Are you taking a cut? These are things I need to know. I think that's gonna be fine. Let's see how it sits. Nosy nosy. <laughs> Wait, but Clyde, I need I, I also need to know if you're taking a cut. This affects me. Getting this to sit nicely in here is kind of a whole thing. I 
like it should be fitting down in the gap between but it's not so maybe if i try and press them apart it does appear he is handling promotional promotion and door services maybe but that doesn't that still doesn't mean he's taking a cut I'm not opposed to compensating people who are helping me out, but like, I just need to know. Ironing this against my hand is probably a poor idea. <laughs> no, I don't need a cut. How did I know that you would say that? So you're vol you're saying you're a volunteer. Is that, is that where we're at? <laughs> I use the edge of the ironing board, but there just is not room. Could end up totally melting something like unrelated, like the edge of my phone or something. I don't know. Trying to open the edge of this seam and iron it open. But that's really difficult. Maybe he'll be satisfied with payment in the form of complimentary entry. What? Just iron the way that I want you to go. We're deep in this metaphor. Yep, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Why is this not doing the thing I want it to do? It's not a piece of shit. I made it. It's just difficult to figure out how to make it do what I need it to do. Seeing promotion and guarding the door to keep the riffraff out. Right, that was established. So I thought. As usual, I feel like I'm probably missing something, but. <laughs> Riff Raff can come in if they pay. Fair. Fair. Can throw them out quickly. This is true but we will not hesitate to take their money. This is true. Ironing this against my hand, which is a terrible idea. It's also the thing that is working the best. The place where I cut the notch on this is definitely showing me that I should not have cut the notch. Cash is king, green is green. There you go. I'm just enjoying watching this back and forth happen. I don't feel like I have anything to contribute, really. Because you, you both seem to have it kind of sorted, I think. We are discussing the only fan account that you don't even have. That you, that you know of. Really. Really, the holdup is... Well, me deciding... If I want to use this name or a different name, if it's a different name, what would it be? 
Oh no, now we're discussing two different things. Only fans. Uh, we're discussing entry to a specific building. I mean, I was on board with the building thing, but I also did gather that there was more than just a building happening here. Quiet, I thought we were on the same page. <laughs> And iron the way that I need you to go. I'm basically trying to flatten these seams so the plastic will fit better in this little envelope. It's always leasing space. Uh, sure. I don't know what part of town is this building is in like the warehouse district or what <laughs> this made up city that's now in our minds gotta go where the money is to be made i guess i guess i don't know that seems out of context Tempted, but never actually clicked the buy button on OnlyFans, like subscriber to buy the content or whatever. Okay. Because you just think everything should be free, as I feel like has been established. about done messing with this seam i think i hope not exactly well tell us then tell us how it is if it's not that clyde can you do an exclamation mark drop please thank you gotta keep up this timer not timer the counter because it's so behind okay i think that's probably as good as that's going to get it's kind of Sketchy and weird, but okay. Okay. All right, so I have to put the right page on the screen so that I know where I'm at. It doesn't show that they're sewing it in, but it looks like they sure as hell are. Stitch along the inner edge of this. Oh, okay. But then you say not to stitch over the plastic. Yet the picture looks like they absolutely stitched over the plastic. No idea. One of these is getting trimmed. Penton, what are you up to this evening? Mm 
I just need it to sit here nicely on this side and then and then no it will not it refuses staying up later than I should off work tomorrow still not good to get out of a routine that's true that's true but if you never change things up, like, you gotta live a little bit. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> wow, Clyde, thanks for those bits. <laughs> wow. Regret staying up late. What time do you normally wake up? Seven ish. So it's what? Coming up to two for you? No, you're not ahead of me. You're in Oklahoma, so it's almost one o'clock. Yeah, that's gonna get you like six hours or so. Yeah, one o'clock. Okay, maybe I just try and sew it in here. I don't know. They were like, don't do it this way. But I'm gonna do it that way because there's no other way to do it. It just is not. But why? Why doesn't it? Ah. This is where they should have included another piece to cut out in the pattern and they should have said, oh, use this for the inside of the visor. Probably like the worst way to do that. Okay, so lesson learned next time. I'm definitely not using fucking plastic like folder dividers. Jesus. I wanted to use cardboard. I should have used cardboard. Five hours, I'm fine. Four hours, I'm fucked. At least you know, like, the amount that of sleep that you need. I either need, like, nine hours or more, or if I have three hours or less, I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's a very, um, there's a very wide swing to that. I guess that's a little bit better. Ah, so maybe that way will work. Okay. Fuck it. Let's try it and see. But I'm going to have to go slow because I don't want to accidentally sew over the plastic. So far, so good. Five hours you can function for nine hours. Yeah, I usually... Well, I have medication, so when I take my medication, I don't really get a choice. 
basically is how it works. I take my medication and I sleep and it is out of my system within six hours, but I get up after three or four hours and then I take another dose and then that gets me at least another six hours. So I end up sleeping a lot more than I probably want to, but I don't have a choice. Vengeance, hi. Hi, friend. The plant stream featuring Smurfy. Is it? We haven't done plants in a bit. I got a vanilla orchid mm, a day or two ago from somewhere. It's outside. Stay in the back. It's true. It's true. We've got them back here. There's some over there. I need more space for my plant. My plants also need more light. Waiting to kill Batman. Oh, right, because you were saying that poison ivy thing, and I was, I didn't catch it at first, and then, then you explained it. Yes, yes, yes. That way? Okay, that's good. It is a dork. That's okay. Those are the best kind, usually. We did it. We have a hat brim. Potatoes and stripes. That's all we need, right? Is just this part. We did it. I made this one part. <laughs> It is took nearly four hours. I'm not this grossly incompetent at everything I do, I promise. Stripes down, potatoes up. So the stripes are on top here, and potatoes are on the side, so... If the stripes go down, then it's potato potato brim but that's not gonna really be as visible you know because like the flat cap so but I'm a dork I'm a tinder and I never get a swipe what is TRO I don't know what that is um I've never really used tinder I'm old I went on tinder like once and I made a couple of like I don't even know if I called them friends. I made a couple of like acquaintance friends, but that's it. All of my like online dating fun was on OkCupid okay, and Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish was a fucking riot. Uh, my good friend Shanti and I, we actually like made a poster and, and like hung it up in the hallway of my apartment <laughs> and we called it the aquarium um and we would like i think we just like printed off whatever the profile picture was of like the most ridiculous messages that we got and then we'd just paste them on there she would also write um what did she call she would just either, she was writing either haikus or some other really short little type of poem. I can't remember what kind it was, but she would write them about these people on Plenty of Fish. And we would always spell fish with a PH because it's funnier that way. Temporary restraining order. Wow. I hope you're joking. I hope you're joking about getting restraining orders because of Tinder. Isn't Tinder for fucking? Anything is for fucking. If you try hard enough and believe in yourself, 1010, come on now. Tinder is fun when you travel and you shrink the range as low as you can. Oh, is it all like proximity based? Tinder shows people within a certain radius? I guess so. We're old 1010. <laughs> I know a girl who put her Twitch on Tinder and it helps her stream. Oh, I bet it does. 
maybe I should, maybe I should get Tinder and then I can just use it to promote my stream. But the problem is like, I don't give a fuck if anybody locally knows that I stream. Like I keep my, I don't know. I kind of like would rather local people didn't know. Not like, that sounds weird and that doesn't, that's not it. That doesn't make sense either. I just keep like my personal life and my streaming separate for the most part, because that's my preference. That's all I meant, unrelated to this. Half a mile is great on the Vegas trip. Oh, I bet. That sounds like a hilarious game to play on the Vegas trip. Okay, so we did that part. Oh, and then you're supposed to mark like the halfway and then pin it onto the rest of the hat. Let's see. So this we like that. Yeah, potatoes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Do that. Do I have something to mark with? Cute overall. Thanks. I love overalls. They are the best ever. I wear them probably once a week on stream because I just really like overalls. I own several. Um, I was thinking about this earlier too. For overalls, like I think people say pairs, like you'd say a pair of jeans and they'll be like, oh, I have multiple pairs of overalls, but why are they called a pair? Because it's just like, it's just one thing. I don't know. Or sets, like it's just one thing though. Need marking pencil. Overalls are great. Thanks. Thanks for noticing and appreciating. This is the only set I have that fits the best though. Mm. I guess we'll call that a halfway point on it. Mmm, good enough. And fold it there. Yeah, that works. I own a jean. <laughs> right? I don't know. It was just, you know, weird word things. And sometimes you think about them and then you think about them too much. And then everything is weird. I miss potatoes, that's not fried. They're not coming here. Where are you at again? Oh, Hawaii? Is that, am I remembering correctly? Alaska is not you, Alaska is pancake. And maybe somebody else. I wanna say you were in Hawaii. Okay, so we do this part and I believe we should attach it here, but that is not the true, like, center. I have to look and see how they attach this. Um... 70% Asian, so rice. Let's start with rice. I love rice. Rice is fucking fantastic. Grab some clips and we'll come over here to take a look at this really quickly. Okay, have it there. Guess that's the front. Um. So they're putting it on like this. And then what happens? So on the inner area. Good luck with that. Okay. Let's try it again. I can't stand rice. Why not? Rice is delicious. 
There's lots of different kinds of rice, too. Like, plain white rice? Yeah, that shit sucks. Brown rice is nice. There's also, like, black rice and red rice and, like, all kinds. Mm, yes, like this. like the look, smell, texture, or taste. Hmm. Well, that's, that is your loss. But I will, I mean, also, if you didn't grow, if you grew up not eating rice, then yeah, as an adult, you're probably not going to want to eat it and you're probably not going to like it. Thanks for the hydrate. I do find that a lot of Americans, especially white Americans, do not like rice, but they also grew up not eating rice, so that's probably why. This would be the the brim attached. Wash the rice before you cook it. That does also help. Yes, not like that YouTube video. Also with quinoa, you have to wash the quinoa and it's like a ab night and day difference if you don't wash it. You also should cook it in like broth or stock of some sort. Fucking magical. Alright, I guess I'll try and stitch this on. We'll see what happens. Well, I almost hit my head on that shelf. That would be fabulous. Bam. Fucking tastic. Par for the course or something. Making me want to skillet or pot roast. It's made of hat. That would be so fun too get fabric that's like potatoes but then also get some that's like carrots and onions you're onto something there i really want to use pins here mm. where did i put them i would have that but my bunnies would attack it oh That's why you gotta put things out where they can't get to them. There's really no way to pin this. Oh, snap. Yes, that'll work. That will work. Unconventional, but it's gonna do the job. Instead of pinning it along this edge, where the clips are, I'm pinning it up here along the other side, where I won't be sewing, but it's still going to hold it in place. Yes, that will work. That will work nicely, I think. They jump. They're fairly well trained. Okay. I mean, yeah, rabbits are highly trainable. It's pretty impressive. There's like a little show rabbits group like community group here and they'll do demonstrations periodically and it's so fucking cute 
they like go and hop and go through their little obstacle courses and everything ow they're so adorable they're not bad trained that's the theme of the books on your shelf what bunnies i don't have any books up there about bunnies nope that one what is that one about i don't know what that book's about there's some books about orchids there's some new york times crossword puzzle books there's a laws of the night um vampires of the masquerade rule book from like 2006. john updike two bible <laughs> they're like bibles from grandma's journals an old pan am employee like stewardess handbook french to english dictionary mandarin dictionary japanese there's like six japanese books maybe more plants plants photography textbooks um old yearbooks watchmen deadpool some graphic novels all of the enders game series um object oriented and classical software engineering even hawking books um there's a brief history of time a briefer history of time the future of space time something garbology yeah there's some other stuff there and the bottom shelf has several typography books a book about gnomes the history of death um some harry potter books stuff white people like that's a really funny book um book about love languages what else is on here mothers who kill their children how to talk to anyone um a book about burlesque like a big coffee table book about burlesque um, a whole bunch of Pyrex and vintage glass and depression glass and all that stuff, like reference books. That's what's on that bookshelf. <gasps> what? I missed things. I was reading books. Sorry. Books in general. Wait, what? They don't destroy wires or doing pee or poop. Oh my god, that's good. You don't use my glasses on at home. Why not? I need to get married. I've been meaning to check out the Ender's Game books. They're really good. They are really good. I don't know if I've read all of them, but I know I read it. I read the first one. I might have read the second one too. Best friend Lucas. Thank you so much for your resub. Three months. Thank you. That's so nice. I want to ask you like what paper you want for your star, but I have to figure out a way to like present those options to people because they're not solid colors anymore. Stuff white people like the book? Yes. Does it have like a chapter on cheese? Probably. Clyde, what is what is the hype and the love thing? What are those about? Let, let's see if there's a part on cheese. The definitive guide to stuff white people like cheese the sub oh got it got it got it um wow in the back of the book there's a quiz how white are you <laughs> and i think it has like all of the different it's like a list of all the different things yeah it's cheese on here. Let's look. Mm. This could also be a fun channel point redeem. I guess this is also not just stuff white people like, it's stuff white Americans like. That should be more specific. 
My coworker got angry when I said I don't prefer cheese on my food. Why would he be offended? That's so weird. It's not his food, like... Why the fuck does he care? Hmm... Cheese! Number 145 is cheese. <laughs> Amazing. I'll find the entry about cheese. Now I'll read it. They, yeah, this could be a fun channel point redeem thing because all the entries are like just quick, like one page blurbs. Stuff white people like cheese. Wine and cheese are a great pair for any white event, dinner party, gallery opening, or presidential debate party. But as with all things, white people are expected to have an extensive and deep knowledge of cheese, cheese regions, and proper cheese pairings. The uses for cheese in white culture are almost limitless. It's an important part of any expensive sandwich, an essential hors d'oeuvre, and a required salad topping. Knowing your way around a cheese plate can help to improve your standing with white people in an instant. But professing a love for the wrong kind of cheese will quickly paint you as the wrong kind of person. Anything pre-sliced is unacceptable. Anything manufactured by a major dairy producer is unacceptable. And even being aware of American cheese is considered highly problematic. It's best to treat cheese like indie music in so much as it's best to like cheeses that no one has ever heard of. Also, it's a very good idea to have obscure alternative cheeses for common food situations. For example, if a white person says, I love fresh Parmesan grated on my gnocchi, you should say, even if it's authentic Parmesan, I really think a Pecorino is just so much nicer. It adds a nuttiness they don't find in common Parmesans. This is also effective when talking about grilled cheese sandwiches. These adjectives are commonly recognized as the best for cheese. Nutty, sharp, and rich. Smoky can go either way and is best avoided. If you're planning on hosting an event with white people, it's a good idea to head over to a gourmet store and visit its cheese section. Don't worry, they have them. Ask the cheese guy to recommend a plate. Take notes on what he says, then repeat it at the party to a rapt audience. If you're able to introduce a white person to a new cheese, it's like introducing them to a future spouse. They will remember it forever, or at least until they get bored. It's good stuff. Yeah, I think that would be a fun channel point redeem. And then someone can redeem that, and then I'll just have them pick a number between 1 and 150. Because they are numbered. That's fun. I like that. Uh, we'll do seconds over here. Mm, mac and cheese and wine is something I only see. WF. What is WF? When I see WF, my I just think it's Whole Foods only because that was like Instacart abbreviations. I'm good with craft singles. Ugh. To be fair, Hawaii is a state that Googles recipes involving spam more than any other. It's true, white females. That was on my list of guesses, but I wasn't sure. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't pair wine with macaroni and cheese, but... But I'm also not the average person. I don't know what people do. Second only to surf reports. You live near a base. You live near like a military base in Hawaii. Is that what you're saying? This has so much potential to go side so sideways. doing it we're stitching the ow fuck <laughs> we are stitching the brim to the hat and impaling my fingers in the process um have you ever actually worked on a farm or just have the overalls really 10 10 
I'm really proud of yourself for that one. Um, people working on a farm are not the only people who can wear overalls. You know that, right? And yes, I have like been on farms and done done work things there. I guess I haven't like worked on a farm on a farm, but I have grown up somewhat in a rural community. Like, yeah, I know how it works with, like, feeding pigs and milking cows and shit. Technically, my grandfather on my dad's side had a farm, but I don't know what their, like, thing was that they farmed. <laughs> they just called it the farm, so maybe that was a cat. Actually. Actually. Pearl Harbor, it's a mile away. Okay. Overalls are second. Only the sundresses as cute clothing and women. Wow. With the right pose, any clothing can be cute. This is true. This is 100% true, including a burlap sack. Can you ride a horse? Um, maybe, but I prefer not to because I got trampled by a horse when I was like four. And I was like super fucking bruised up for months. Like I probably looked like a horribly abused child, but it was just that I got trampled by a horse. So that was like the last time I rode a horse and I'm good with that. Like less horses, more glue is generally my opinion on that. I'm not like, oh, bitter, I hate horses. I just, they don't do anything for me. And the people who are like, like horse girls, weird me the fuck out Ugh, gross less horses more glue although i really really have like a thing for the kentucky derby so even a moo moo moos can be totally cute and sexy absolutely have owned them have worn them in the country that i used to live in and consider myself from let's not go that far mm, you haven't seen the right person in them horse girls and car guys are I don't think they are. Car guys, horse girls are like a league, really a league of their own. Car guys, I don't think they can even get come close to that. I think it's Moo Moo. Yeah, I tend and I agree with the spelling, but. I try not to correct people. I figure people are trying their best, you know? But don't quote me. 10 10 It's true. Absolutely. Vengeance, I'm so glad you popped in. This is lovely. Thanks for being here, everybody. Oh, there's a pin there. That's what that is. Twenty-three, nice. Ow! It's either watch you or play the PC remaster of the retro Final Fantasy games. Well, which ones are the retro ones? Okay, so technically, <gasps> technically, I'm dead. so how the brim? Oh shit! Now I look like a real hat. Look, look, we have potatoes on this part and on this part. Oh my god! A miracle! Uh, off to bed. Good luck with the tater hat. Ten, ten. Thank you. Look, I can put it on. It'll look really dumb. It's on. It's like a train conductor hat right now. But it's like a real hat. <laughs> Woo! Good night, ten, ten. Thank you for hanging out for a bit. 
I hope we are not too tired tomorrow. One through six. One, two, three, and so on. Ooh, okay. Can't wait for the OnlyFans tater tot hat photo shoot. Well, I guess you'll be waiting a while since you don't pay for content. Just saying. Well, so overall, it has a 90s vibe. Oh, probably. Probably. Especially if we put a snap here. Or button or sew it or whatever. I'm not supposed to... There's still more yet to be done on this hat to make it... To make the structure appropriate to how it's supposed to be. Wait. Oh, you could do it with that thing up in front. <laughs> that looks really stupid. <laughs> uh, fun time. I reminds me of Mario's hat. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for somebody to say that. Um, okay, let's come over here. I'll run that battle and see what I need to do next. I'm so glad that everyone is a fan of overall because I'm a huge fan. The outfit with the hat makes me think of the TLC CD cover. I can kind of picture it. If you have a link to it, you can throw it in the chat if you want. Okay. So we attached that, even though theirs looks more different. Um, okay, so the next thing, I guess, is the lining. Lining parts are identical, identical to the outer parts of the cap. Use the cap's pattern for cutting the lining. Not helpful, but it's fine. Which is this piece and this piece. These are the lining. So basically, we sew those together and then we sew that to this. Oh, yeah, that's heckin' 90s. Yup. Wow, that's a fucking hat. Good lord. I'm not old. I'm a... What did that say? I'm a something teenager. What does that button say? I like that the other button is a Where's Waldo. Fantastic. Okay, what is next? I didn't do any of these things. Oh, I guess I'm doing something. Hmm. I thought they were overalls in my mind. Yeah, that's what I was picturing too, but it's the suspenders that are that. Suspenders are pretty similar. Like, do suspenders just make regular shorts into overalls? So make them like temporary overalls? Important questions. Um. We're going back. We're going back to the other screen. Hold on. Hold on. Hi. Hi, people. Pancake, hi. Hello. I'm coming back to the right screen. Hold on. Sorry. Um, hi. Hi, friends. Hi, raiders. Who, who did what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not reading a 13. Shan. 
Shen, my love. Hailstone, hi. Shen. Shen is here, friends, friends, friends. Um, existing friends who are already here. Please, please go and follow Shan if you don't. She is lovely and wonderful. She's beyond wonderful. She's just like sunshine and I adore her. What were you doing in your stream today? Were you playing the long dark? How did it go? How are things? What are you, what are you working on right now in game? We were going to play the long dark, and then I put up a poll in Discord, in my Discord, and the numbers, um, working on Potato Hat beat out the Long Dark by one vote. <laughs> she is great. She said, I found you, and you're great as well. Aww. It's true, though. Shan is the best. I have so much love for her. You should, too. She's great at what she does. She's super cute. And lots of fun and she has a star trek kiss cam which is the actual best thing ever it's really like probably all you need to know i don't know anyway welcome raiders i'm glad you're here if you wouldn't mind um just refreshing the page or clicking on my name below the stream which helps you count as a real viewer i'm so glad you're here um I don't know. Should I introduce myself? Doesn't matter. I'm Snowpeep. I'm a variety streamer. I do literally everything. We're sewing. We're making a hat with potato fabric, but it's going to be like a men's flat cap eventually. This is a mock-up or a prototype to make a weird crappy hat out of scrap fabric before we make a nice hat out of good fabric. Other times I play video games like The Long Dark and other cool stuff too. I also restore furniture and do whatever the fuck you can think of. We were in a new map. Oh, you got lost and you found some cool stuff. Oh no, you ran out of food. Things are tense but thrilling. I love that. Love that journey for you. <laughs> she just makes the best voices in Star Trek and I'm very acute in my observations. No, she does. She does great voices. And I'm very envious of her ability to just think on the spot and come up with the scenarios for the kiss cam because they are elaborate often. Like the last one I saw, there was like a three person setup for that one. It was amazing. Potatoes, boil and mash them, make a hat. Exactly. Um, yeah, potatoes are life. I swear, like I was just like, this is a random fabric I'm never going to use. We'll just use this for the hat. And it's become a whole thing. The potato fabric is insanely popular. No, you, you so great. Um, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Had a decent day. Bought some new fabric earlier. It's good stuff. We finally got the brim put on this fucking hat. It looks real weird at the moment. Cause there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done on it but how it looks at the moment which is not the way it is intended to be worn because this is supposed to come over here somehow i don't know where it's it's in progress it's in progress yeah need to sew that a little bit closer looks great hey thank you what she does improv quite quite well she does i has never been my thing but i also am just like not a theater person i usually was behind the scenes doing like lighting or something i probably could act if i wanted to but i'd rather do the other stuff i'm also good at like directing trying to get as close to that edge and I keep missing it. <gasps> P 
Pancake. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Shan. You are too good to me, isn't he? He's just so sweet. Jomzy. That's a fun name. Hi. Spud Projectors is my new folk punk band. <laughs> Debuting with slightly out of tune instruments in a park near you. Oh, I'm so here for it. I would totally go to that concert. I love concerts in the park. I almost don't care what the music is if there is a like low key jam concert in the park. Chauncey, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Did you also come in with Shan? Can't let a starving artist keep starving. Wait, what does that mean? Am I the starving artist? I believe I did, but I've been on a lurk train. Those are fun. I like those. I call it raid roulette. Where like you just kind of lurk in something and you go to sleep or whatever you need to do for however long. And you come back later and see where you end up. It's a fun game. I found some good some like streamers that way who I ended up really enjoying an idiom oh right hmm. I like raid roulette mm -hmm. yeah it was really fun um, in December I was part of a big charity raid train thing with a whole bunch like probably like a hundred other makers and crafters streamers that was that was really a fun raid roulette because it was like everyone was absolutely raiding someone else it was coordinated um but it would change because like sometimes streams just take longer etc so you never quite knew where you were gonna end up I'm just trying to secure this brim because the outer pointed edges are just not being smooth. Or I meant it as an idiom. It's okay. Right now, I was like, wait, what are idioms again? <laughs> I used to know, but right now I don't know. I don't think Shenanon is a starving artist. Yeah, I don't think she is either. That's why I asked if I was the starving artist, because I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I may not eat enough or very often, but I may not eat enough or often enough, but I don't think I'm actually starving. That was also a joke. I know you do not literally mean it, and I know that starving artist doesn't doesn't usually mean literally starving. Look, I'll eat if we're ordering something. I mean, that's basically what I'm saying. I'll eat if we're ordering something, but if we're just here for a little bit not doing it then nah i'm good go with what everyone else is doing i guess i don't know i should have quit like <laughs> way before that uh we did that part oh the liner the liner 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 is next okay stop fucking with the brim i tried to order pizza for someone in toronto once but it wouldn't let me that's so weird Oh, because it probably, like, picks up, like, this is Canada, you can't do that in a different country. Kind of a bummer. Stream snacks it is, I guess. Oh, you have to show the card on delivery. Lame. Do we make McDonald's less than two times a day in America equals starving? I haven't had McDonald's in, like, eight years. I've ordered a pizza for someone in America before. John Z, where are you located? Uh, 
Um, so yes, for anyone else, we're making a hat. I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Making a hat. It's going to be a men's flat cap, which is kind of like a newsy cap, but not as like pillowy on top. This is a mock-up prototype hat just to see how it goes. And if that works out well, then I'll make a real one out of something nicer. This is to see if it can be done. Right now I want pins because we're going to pin this together. Oh, right. This definitely becomes a pain in the butt. Got about this whole part with the, the ends that curve around and then you gotta get them to do the thing you want them to do and then they're like, no, I refuse, and it's a whole thing. <sighs> yeah, you should do something like treat stream, then it would probably let you I was thinking that as well, Vengeance. Although I have not actually used Treat Stream. I have an account and I set it up because I was curious about it, but I have not like I've never like published a link to it anywhere. Eight years, yeah, something like that. Um, I'm allergic to wheat, so like I don't eat gluten foods generally. Sometimes I do, and it's terrible. Like it affects me more in that it like um, makes my hands peel and um, will give me a rash and like. I will have a lot of panic attacks and sometimes I'll like get lost and not know where I am and it's like more like neurotoxin than anything. It's really, really bad. I eat fast food maybe four times a year and I live in America and totally not starving. Exactly. Link it. Wait, what are we linking to? I did the same thing. I was looking at treat stream, but then didn't post or finish it. Yeah. One stream we made this streamer's girlfriend eat tacos on his bed a neat freak uh oh treat stream yeah maybe but um like where i live there um there are few to none options of things that are open for that late just saying okay so i need to mark this part here. Why did I do that? Let me make this mark and then I will pay attention to what people are saying. Otherwise, if I don't make this mark, it's not going to happen. It's so bad because wheat is the most modified food in the food chain. Corn is next and oats are bad, right? After next potatoes, if you want to talk about GMOs, nothing we eat that is plant-based is actually non human It's all been bred scientifically or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're preaching to the choir. I am the environmental scientist. <laughs> oh, who I'm aware. So many accounts and services like TreeStream just for the purpose of parking them and keeping people from using my username. Wow. That's fair. Mm, okay, mark that as the center, but is that actually the center? Yes, yes it is. Okay, I didn't think I was super wrong on that. This is one of those things that, like, piecing these parts together fucks with my brain, like, so bad, and I don't even know why. Some may not know. There's wheat types you may not react to, ancient grains, etc. Um, yeah, so, like, European wheat is not processed and all fucked around like American stuff is. So, like, there have been times that, like... There was this, there's a restaurant here, an Italian restaurant, and it's super, super expensive. Um, but I went there for my birthday a couple times, and they had, like, this, I think it was like a gnocchi, or no, it was a ravioli. It was a ravioli thing, 
and they like imported the flour and everything from Italy and it was a whole thing and they like brought me the container to show me and everything and I was like sure I'll try that whatever it was amazing but it also didn't make me sick at all it was fantastic and I've had friends who are also allergic to wheat and stuff and they'll like go to Europe and eat whatever they want and they're fine mm -hmm. it's a thing pancake I'm glad that you know and you get it so nice when you find the people who are like yeah yes i know what you're talking about because usually if i say stuff like that people like look at you like you're crazy it's real though and soy is a hormone disruptor okay so i'm gonna start with pins and then i will switch it to no, I will start with clips. I always mix them up. I'll start with clips, then switch it up to pins. Ow. How do you take a break, but you're looking? Sure, no worries. We have a link come in to use it or don't. What else? I wasn't necessarily planning on doing this whole part tonight, but I'm here and you're all here and I don't know, I'm just kind of going with it. Cause probably cause once I got the, um, what do you call it? Once I got the brim done, I was like, aha, I did one thing. Now what? Chan, are you still hanging out? If you are, I have a question for you. Oh, wait, that's just not, that's not lined up at all the way I want it. Eee. Yikes. I'm still here, slowly getting ready for bed, but still not, but that's okay. I like that you always come and raid me and then I like put you to bed. Like, should I tell you, should I start telling you bedtime stories? I can, I totally can do that. Anyone else? No, but for you, I would do this. Oh, uh, before you got here, I was reading an excerpt from the book, Stuff White People Like. I think I'm gonna make that a channel point redeem. Ah, uh, hmm. It's probably in the basement. Man. I wish I had a copy of The Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales. That would be the perfect, perfect bedtime story. It's a great idea. It is. It's really funny. And white people are the fucking worst, so, you know, might as well. It doesn't go there. Mm. That seems not... That, that's not it. That's not right at all. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, we didn't go that far. What? In saying that white people are the worst? Oh, we're absolutely the worst. Um, pretty sure white people are the uh, worst. Ow. So this, I have to start over here, I think. Do you not think that white people are the worst? It's a rough track record. A little bit. Spend time in Russia and those white people were pretty chill. Okay. More than when I spent time in the South. Yes.
Also, you'll know that's different. Yes. <laughs> so once again, generally when people say like white people are the worst, they're referring to American and other like imperialist nations who have like ruined the planet, who have had the biggest roles in ruining the planet and um taking over countries and all that shit. Okay, let's try to pin this in a way that makes sense. Oh, Shan, huh, I had a question. Yeah, Canadians too. Uh-huh, you love to pretend to be above that, but no baby us too. Exactly, exactly. Canada's just as guilty. Mm-hmm. 100%. I know, Sh I know that Shan knows. Um, oh, but Shan, the thing I was going to ask you about was thought some time back at some point that your page somewhere said something about like comedy like you do comedy or have done or something can you tell me more about that <gasps> capuli hi hi friend good morning how did you sleep My people destroyed the ozone and it's the least protection versus sun, so sooner or later it'll level up. I guess so. I mean, sure, that's not entirely the, th I don't know, just all of it, but also we don't have to like drill down into the exact specifics, it's just like a known fact. <sighs> that is gonna be super weird. What the shit is this? So basically we have to like recreate the whole rest of the hat again, but from this fabric, because this is the fabric that goes on the inside as the liner. Should I have sewn it at the same time as the rest of it? Absolutely. Did I? Fuck no, I didn't. My babe. Hello, my love. Um, Jacob, can we talk about your Instagram photo from the other day, please? Because it was lovely and stunning. You beautiful human. Just such a nice portrait. You do improv and sketch comedy. Okay. I've traveled and we're in stage shows. It's so fun. Ah, you mean a Twitch comedy show? What? Post the link to that thing. Is there a link? Post a link to the thing you're going to be on. Because I want to know and I want everyone else to know because obviously they should know. White people is like Star Wars. They're not all bad. Huh. Well, white people are like inherently racist even if we're like no i'm not racist by our nature we're racist pretty much what is this doing it's like it's not lined up or something You in the chair. Yes, you in the chair. Stop flirting with you. Never. Doing comedy on a cruise ship. <gasps> Until the panini. Somebody a few weeks ago called the pandemic the panini and that did it for me. That was, that was, that was it. And I'm sold on it. Can we just call it the panini? Because it's, I will never not laugh. You slept okay, even though you usually need about 10 hours of sleep if you want to feel completely happy. How many hours of sleep did you get? August 2nd, 8 p.m. That's so far away. I have no idea when that is, but I'm going to follow this channel. Schedule is 
is there? Yes, code names. August 2nd. Oh, are they going to play code names? Is there a way to play code names on the internet like like on stream? I like that game like so much. Cuz there's a way to do that. That would be really fucking cool. I got 7 or so. It's like code names game show. How does that work? I would love to play code names. I like that game so much. I found a thing recently for playing Family Feud online, and I was like, oh, that's fun. Maybe we can do that. Speaking of games, if anyone cares, if you like Jackbox games, we are doing that here on my channel on Saturday. Ow. It will be a fantastic time. You're encouraged to attend if you so choose. The game is digital and you can play it over the internet. What? I'm gonna have to look into this for myself. I totally play code games. Like, that's the thing. If I know of, if I could, if I could know of, if I knew of more games that have been adapted to play over the internet with friends, but adapted well so that they make sense, then I would definitely love to play other games but i just end up doing the jackbox stuff because it's there and like i know why am i throwing pins and i know that it works and stuff um hey Kapuli, can you do me a favor and type exclamation mark drop thanks please and thanks seven or six yeah that's kind of that rough in between area where you're like i guess i'm fine but i'm just gonna be tired all day um vengeance yes saturday this coming saturday I love Jackbox, except all the bee holes it attracts at times. What do you mean, all the bee holes that it attracts sometimes? I mean, I do it with like a private room and private um, like room codes and stuff. So we generally don't have issues with. Oh, well, you were auto mod censored. Oh, I'm sorry. My mods are not here. <laughs> so let me fix that. <laughs> okay. Auto mod is a pretty bitch. You need to see it late. Um, I got a COVID shot that day. Maybe out of commission. It takes about twelve hours. So, like, well, which COVID shot are you getting? If you're getting Pfizer, I wouldn't sweat it. But if you are getting Moderna and yeah, that takes about 12 hours to kick in if it's going to kick your ass. That's good, yes. Glad wins a clean game. I like clean games. What do you mean by clean games versus non-clean games? One game that works well in co-op with friends is Divinity Original Sin 2. What? It's an RPG where max four players can play together. That doesn't seem like a party game, though. Looking for more, like... Fun type things, not like serious games. Although when we play Devil in the details, it is probably gonna get kind of serious. There's gonna be so much yelling, and I can't wait. No, Automat does its job. Eh, I kind of hate it though. I don't like censorship. I only turned it on because of doing pool a pool stream, just in case it was needed. <laughs> Giving myself too much credit, probably, but you meant party games. I didn't actually say party games until I clarified, so it's cool. It's fine. But yes, that is what I meant. I like creativity, not answers that are just like X likes the D stuff like that. I'm not sure if you've experienced that as much as I have. I mean, there's totally people who will play Jackbox games and their whole goal is to like 
come up with the most like shocking answer or whatever and it's like yep okay cool <laughs> i think it is a bit lazy when people do that if that's the only thing that they do is that kind of what you mean pancake are they like their answer is always about balls or something like okay good job but like maybe be a little more creative i don't know you seem like you play board games i don't play tabletop games very much because i don't have friends and i don't well i get invited to parties once in a while um um board games i don't know so like all of these new games that came out in the last like 15 years or whatever most of those are over my head like i will never be into shit like settlers of Catan and like all these new games that are like board games but they're like super tabletoppy and it's like a whole thing you have to construct and they take hours and it's all complicated and like fuck that i hate that shit <laughs> give me like candyland or monopoly or the farming game the farming game is fucking amazing if you know it you know it if you don't i'm sorry or like the mad magazine board game those things all great but all this new shit too complicated i don't want to spend an hour trying to learn all the fucking rules and i don't like when the whole thing is like octagon shaped cardstock and then you gotta like keep it all together and it gets all lost and a fucking mess what the dub is one party game what is that i don't know what that is you have the n where 11 year olds that play I don't think I've encountered that. Would you play the Cones of Dunshire? I don't know what that is. I've heard that term, but I don't know what that is. Mad Magazine. Yeah, like there's the magazine, Mad Magazine with Alfred, was it Alfred P. Newman? Um, but they made a board game. It's definitely like retro or whatever the fuck by now. Um, and the board game is absolutely ridiculous. It's, I mean, I recall it being lots of fun when I played it, but I was like 12. If there's like actual board game board games and they're just not convoluted things that just take so long, but I'm fine with that. If you don't know what the Cones of Dunshire are, are, then I don't know. Maybe you don't like TV shows that I enjoy. Nothing wrong with that. What TV shows do you enjoy? What the Dutch shows? Short clips from movies and part of the audio is missing. Okay. Players need to write a line for the missing part and everyone votes for their favorite. Huh. <coughs> that does sound like something that a Jackbox game would do. Absolutely. Are those types of games fun though? Because I feel like when we do play Jackbox, when there's games that have like, oh, I don't remember the name of it, but there's one that's like, it requires a lot of like, you have to come up with like a sales pitch for something or something like that. It's on the Party Pack 7. And it's like the one game that we've never played from it. I don't remember what it's called. And I feel like the reason for that is because people don't like those as much. I don't know. I know some of them we didn't play because we didn't have voice before, but now that we do have voice, we're going to play more of those. Abrasive Truths, hello, hello, welcome. How are you tonight or today? Oh, it's from Parks and Recreation. Oh, yeah, that's why it's familiar. Cones of Dunshire. Yes, yes, yes. I love Parks and Rec. That's the game that Ben invented, and then he gets, like, way too involved, and it's a whole thing, and they have to do the intervention. Yes, I remember now. Thank you for reminding me. Fantastic. Yes, that game was too complicated. 
if I remember correctly. I think it ended up, yeah, it was like tabletop board game, but it was like, Jesus, get your shit together. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. They're fun when there's enough players and players are creative enough. Okay, fair. Some games are just men no matter what. This is true. Patiently stupid. This game you're referencing for Jackbox. I don't know. Or patently stupid, is it? That doesn't sound familiar at all, but I have no idea. Not a damn clue. Good. How's it going to be here? Yeah, I think we're having a good time. We're just hanging out, talking about games, and um, we started talking about it because we're doing Jackbox games on Saturday here on my channel. And then we were talking about similar types of games and games that have been adapted to play over the internet and all that stuff. While I work on making this hat. I'm working on the lining of the hat right now. Well, it's a mock-up of a hat, but yes. You come up with an invention and then sell it. Oh, is that, that might be what it is. That might be it. Okay, we'll do a pin here. Was it a game where you had to draw a picture about the thing you were pitching? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was that or not. Okay. This doesn't go that way. And then, uh, there maybe? My wife made me a wool crown for winter with felting, what? Do you have a picture of it? I'd love to see it. Do you have a link to a photo or something? That sounds fantastic, that sounds really interesting. I have never tried felting, but I would like to sometime. I want to try like felting and I want to use um, cat hair. <laughs> because Basil sheds so much. She has tons and tons of hair whenever we brush her. And I just think it'd be really fun to use her hair to learn needle felting. And I'll like be one of those people who makes stuff out of cat hair. Are you calling it a night? Sure. I might have to be ready to go in the early morning. I won't know until I'm called for sure. Thank you. Good night. We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out and gifting that sub and being yourself. Good night. Okay. Um. Mm, wait. Uh, can't cat hair. Cat hair will not work by itself. Oh, do you mean like cat hair won't work by itself? I just meant like I want to look into it and see what I can do with it. Okay. Yeah, that's mostly together. Ow. Ow. I'm going to run an ad and I'm going to go to the restroom and get some water and stuff. So I'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
Um, let's take care of this. What did I miss? My friends. Cage is still here. Okay. Ghost milk soap makes cat hair felt easier. <laughs> you type nothing. It's fine. It's fine. How my glasses kind of look like Gilly from uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. I have no idea who that is because I don't watch Game of Thrones, but okay. Yeah. Alright, let's mess with this thing and get it done. I turned my microphone back on and I stuck it in my pocket, but like stabbing me. Or the plug goes into the little square. Mm. My friend made some NFTs and I wanted to snag a couple of them for this roleplay game that I am part of. It wasn't working on my phone, so. Log in. Okay, so then you go there. Nope, over here. Hold on. There we go. Over drone bounce. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold. Really? Oh, that's why. Sorry, I am checking something. What is my email? I don't know. No, I don't want to create an account. I want to just sign in. Anyway, what did I miss? How's everyone? What the shit was that? I want all of the inboxes in one. Nothing's gonna be that. While I'm up, you will get my legendaries for tonight. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Have to do a reset password. Always complicated. Resetting my password will lock my account for a minimum of 24 hours? For fuck's sake. Why? Why is it like this? Oh, for stream readers. Oh, okay, okay. No worries. So that part wouldn't work because then it's overdrawn, which means you do it over there. And then that thing won't work. Well, what the fuck is my password? What the fuck? Fiona, it's fine. You can leave it. The cat always comes in and she wants to, like, bury the other cat's food. Yes, that one. Jesus, that's the problem. Okay. I did a Google generated password. No wonder I didn't know what it was.
Why is that invalid? The fuck? Basil, please stay away from the sewing machine. If you tell me your password, they'll keep it safe when you need it. Oh, okay, okay. Right, I'll be sure to do that. Such a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. You can trust me. Mm hmm Okay. Ouch. Ever betrayed your trust? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You're right, you have an excellent track record. <laughs> What the fuck? I copied that password and it isn't working. What the fuck? Do that and that takes time. Ugh. How annoying. It hurts so much. Oh, not skulls. Skulls are dumb. No, like nerves. Ow. Okay, well, I can't do that fun thing, so that sucks. Oh well. Hmm. I will just message this person. Let me send them a message and then we'll go back to sewing. See if they'll save them for me. I doubt it. We'll see. that going back to the page with the hat on it oh after we push these buttons over here We go back real time. Okay, what? I just invented a new easy job. What? A presenter. The whole job is nothing but leading a group. Nothing but leading a group of people to see something, pointing at it with your hand and smiling with your mouth open, like, here it is. Because things are not as good if no one is presenting them to you, right? Maybe. I don't know. I've had plenty of things be really fantastic that I just, like, stumbled upon without anyone presenting them. One could take pride in all the details of the job, such as the positioning of the hand and how you position your tongue inside your open mouth while you smile. That is a very tricky thing to get right. Absolutely. 
Mm, aha. Abrasive truth. Sent a listing. What is this listing for? Abrasive truth. What are you sending me this link to? That's a thing. Owls and trees flower pot. 3D wool upcycle. She made it. She made this. Oh, it's your Etsy shop. Oh, okay. So your wife made this. That's cool. Huh. I mean, you're welcome to post that link in the chat. Um, if you post it in the chat, then, you know, others can see as well. Which is probably better since I'm not at the desk, so I can't, like, pull that up on the stream. Let's... okay, there we go. Yeah, there it is. Would you be a presenter if it paid 3000 a month? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe. Depends on what I would be presenting and where and if there's other benefits. I don't know, maybe. What? Oh, wait, that's right. I was like, wait, did this magically go together with no issues? Of course it did not. I have to pin it. I pinned it, but there's a big um, overlapping spot, which is fine and all. I just um, have to find out where that deficit comes from or where that excess is being generated from. Imagine if you had to present the Grand Canyon. Yeah, right, exactly. That's a lot to present. That's a lot of pressure too. So, what about tour guides then? Are tour guides presenters? Because they do a lot of, you know, gesturing to present things with their arm and I think they're kind of already doing the thing that you're talking about. Ow. This goes here, this goes here. It's not too tech savvy. I make the wood stuff. You're fine, you're fine. Takes all sorts. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised how easily people figure out that they can whisper you. Because it's not an intuitive interface at all, and it's not a, even a user-friendly feature, in my opinion. And the opinions of most other people that I've ever mentioned it to. That goes here, maybe, maybe, maybe. This shit is whack. Uh, if I remember right, from last time, these weird curved spots are going to require multiple pins, that's why. In order to keep them level. Ew! Ugh! Clyde, don't ever say that to me. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Not with that phrasing, anyway. Like, I'm not against, like, literal whispering. If there's, like, a secret to be told or something, I'm here for it. But, not with that phrasing. Not with that lead up. Uh-uh. Wait. What song is that? Now that you're saying that, that sounds familiar. What song is that? You are told how yesterday. Oh. No, because they actually speak and they have to know things. That's true. My presenter is a person who doesn't speak. They just smile and point. I may not like that job, actually, because I feel like I would want to speak too much.
for at all. I don't know. Like, people would be like, wow, great job, or they'd be like, have a great day or something, and I'd want to respond, you know? The worst thing that can happen to a presenter is when you inhale a fly. Ew. How do you even think of these things? You always come up with the most absurd ideas, which is fine. They're always amusing, but like, how do you even come up with these things, Skip Willie? Yeah, that was wrong, Gitty. Cage, what? <laughs> oh, wait, the Whisper song by the Yankee Twins. That sounds much more familiar now. I feel like I can hear the part of it that you quoted, but that's it, not the rest of it. <sighs> Going all the way back around this and I still haven't figured out where this excess is supposed to be um, where it's supposed to be getting, like, absorbed or something, for lack of a better word. Fruitfly1, hi. Thanks for the follow. Drosophila melanogaster. Welcome, dear friend. I like your brain. Fruitfly jokes. Um, wow. Don't forget to try the veal and tip your servers. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. I just imagine myself in the situation. That's fair. That's fair. I think my brain gave out. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Some days you're just done when you're done. And just like, nope, my brain is done. I can't. 100%, I get it, dude. Hi, Fruit Fly. How are you today? Tonight? I don't know. I don't know where you're located. So how are you this time zone? I hope everyone is having a wonderful time zone. It's even better now that we're all here together. Or something. I think maybe I sorted this issue out. Possibly. Nope. <laughs> Not there anyway. Ow. There's like a tiny hangnail. It keeps getting caught on this fabric. It hurts. Okay, and then I'll just do this pin and then maybe that should work. I fucking hope so. Okay. Hopefully. Mm, no. Sometimes I imagine things how they would appear in a comedy show. In a way, I'm making up ideas for a script. That sounds a lot more in line. Yeah, I see that. I see that. 12.35, so you're a couple hours behind. So you're on West West Coast. Abrasive Truths, thank you for the follow. Thanks so much. I also ran out of funny anecdotes and one-liners at the same time my brain checked out. It's cage. It's fine. It's totally fine. I have to go to sleep. I have greatest stream. Shan, thank you. Thanks for the raid and thank you for hanging out. Please get wonderful sleep and have really nice dreams.
No, you. Um, yeah, once again, everyone, if you do not follow Shane Amanon, please do. He is an utter delight and is just the loveliest. And she has Star Trek Kiss Cam and she just is a fantastic streamer. She's laid back, she's chill, and she's funny, and just a great time over there. So please give her some love if you know what's good for you. Ow. Mm, always stabbing. You're a delight. Pshhh. Okay. Mm, I'm trying to think of what else left on this hat. So we do, we sew this lining to itself. And then we're supposed to sew that into the hat. And then we do something with that long strip to do like the fitting part. No, that might be it, but that, I feel like there's something else. I want to check. Let me check. Because I'm also thinking, like, I'm going to stream on Friday night. I love my Friday night streams with all of you. So I'm trying to think like maybe we should finish that for friday maybe we should finish the hat for friday night wow hmm i could do that um alternatively if we do not finish if we were to press full steam ahead and try to do the hat tonight, I don't really want to do the hat tonight, but if we were to try and do that, then what would I do on Friday? Wow. It's true. I love me some Wilson brothers, all, what is it, three of them? We have Owen and Luke and the third one. I always want to call him Razor because in With It, his name was Razor, but I can't remember his name. That's for the long dark. Yeah, so I kind of want to save these until Friday. Kinda. I really want to sew it now, but I don't want to be up all night. Maybe I should sew this and then I can save the rest of it until later. Let me do this. Let me go turn on the oven in the kitchen because I need to hook up, hook up. I need to heat up some pizza. Nothing better than playing sounds that were meant for some other purpose. It's true. Wherever you get your joy, except for that gross, gross emote. And now I know that you do it only because you know that I think it's disgusting. Let me go turn on the oven. I'll be right back in just a minute. Less than that, probably. Well, really, you all get to come with me because I didn't undo the microphone because why would I? Okay. takes for the oven to heat up 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Two links are for the same, it's cheaper. Oh. We 
where is that yeah my friend is gonna save me one of the things he made okay 10 minutes okay i'll set a timer and then i'll go check it I find it bizarre and hilarious that you find it disgusting. It could also be a man who is enjoying good food or something like that. No. It's just that the person's face is like gross in the first place. Ugh. Like that's a terrible face for anyone to make. Depends on the size of the oven though. That's true. It's in a, a perfectly sized wall oven. We'll see what happens in 10 minutes. We shall see. Ugh, okay. Let's sew this lining together. I need like a jar or something put these clips in. I already lost one of the clips. <laughs> I lost one of the clips. I was wearing um yes yesterday maybe I was wearing this old hoodie. It's a zip up one. The zipper is very broken. And I was wearing it anyway. And I was using these clips uh, to like hold it closed in four different places. And then I stood up well, I stood up and like went to the kitchen and there's a floor grate next to the stove and what the bottom clip on the jacket like came off. I think it caught on like a door, not door handle, the drawer handle and it like went in the floor grate. So it's gone forever now. What about these two? The first one is the like, oh god, ugh. that one's fine. It's ex self explanatory. It's not gross. Um, dance game. I don't know who the fuck that is. They look like their face is just fucked up. Uh, and the one that fruit fly. Yeah, that one I don't really get. I guess that one's supposed to be sarcasm, but it always is confusing to me. But I'm autistic, so it, of course, it's confusing. Yes, I get it. Lots of channels have these things. Like, I, I get it. I don't know what, what point are you trying to make? Yeah. Ah, no, don't do that. I push something and then it was like, do a channel point redeem. Like, why the fuck would I need to redeem channel points in my own channel? Let's try to make this happen. The point is, I guess, the castle emotes are not to be taken too seriously. Oh, I don't. I don't take them too seriously, but that doesn't mean I can't. I don't take them too seriously, but I can, I can totally still think that they're disgusting. They are not mutually exclusive. I think Cage is just saying words at this point. It's also okay for some people to not like certain things. Like, it's okay that we don't all like the same things. I'm allowed. You're allowed. We're all allowed. Accept your opinion. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I always find it very strange for someone to not accept someone else's opinion, because, like, 
literally their opinion. Everyone's allowed to have one and it can't be wrong or right. Just is what it is. So it's really weird whenever anyone else has like an opinion about someone else's opinion. <laughs> like, just leave it alone. Who cares? I don't like the way that these two pieces are trying to go. <sighs> I wasn't giving you a hard time. Cage, I know. I didn't say that you were. Cage, I know that you are 100% just along for the ride at this point because you're high as shit. Hey, <laughs> you bad me not accept. <laughs> Smash bad opinion. Oh my god. Pretty much. Yeah. Hell of Darkness. Oh, I love when people play that because I unironically really like that song. And you know my sound alerts are too quiet again. I apologize. I have to figure out why. It happens once in a while and I don't know what causes it. Fuck it all, I don't give a shit anymore, blah blah blah. I can hear it, I know almost all the words now. It's so beautiful. It's just so good. Um, Kapuli, since that's one that you made, do you get, like, this is probably a dumb question, but, like, since you, like, made it and put it on there, but you don't get anything when other people play it, right? I like they added the snowflake in the name. Mm-hmm. Gotta have just that little extra something to make it special. That's right, instead of on thinking, it's warm, it's made for sit. Put something else over it so they can't get on there. Ow. Thank Christ. It's going. I cannot, um, I'll braise the truth. I can't give Basil pets. She's not even in the room. I don't know where she went. I think she's in the living room. She came in here for a minute and then she was gone. Fruit fly. Good night. We'll see you again very soon, I hope. Come back on Friday and Saturday and hang out with us. It was lovely to meet you. Correct. I don't get anything more than a fuzzy warm feeling when someone plays the sounds I added. It only shows how many times it's been played. Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder how many times the ones that I've uploaded have been played. The ones that I uploaded were mostly the Peaches songs, I think. Um, that's not even a real name. That's great. So that's not even a person. Cool. Love that. I 
unless it is the real person, in which case I would love for them to say hi. Okay, you owe her pets. I always owe her pets. Always. You can see it from the sound alerts library if you click on the uploads tab. Okay, I'll check it sometime. I don't think anyone else has played them except for me, probably. Or by me, I mean, I don't think they've been played anywhere else except for on my channel, probably. Yeah. Ooh, 10 minute timer. What the shit? Why is that like that? Ah, so many things happening at once. Oh, good, geez. Why is that like that? Yeah, yeah, I'll get in just a second. Mm -hmm. Stop. It even shows the most played ones first. Oh, nice. The most popular song has played, been played 60 times. <laughs> well, at least you, you know what the people want. I think the, um, I think, what am I trying to say? I think the fuck it all one would probably be played a lot more, but people don't know that it's there. Because in Sound Alert, there's tons and tons of sounds that are like repeats of the same thing, but they're just like labeled poorly. Or sometimes you'll get a long version, but you won't know that it's the long version. It's just not well organized at all. Uh, but why is that trying to do that? No. I'm trying to bunch up in this one spot, which is absolutely what I do not want. Okay, that might work. Christian, hi! Hi, I'm so glad you're here. What an unexpected surprise. Hi, you you have been missed terribly. That's the challenge. They should have the playtime and other metadata visible for each sound. That would be amazing. If I notice how hard it is to find anything, I've been trying to add more keywords in the title, and even in an order that suits the search function best. Cool. Christian, how has your day been? What have you been up to? Yes, I think Big B remarked earlier, he was like, wow, it's weird for Christian not to be here. And I was like, I mean, true, but like, he's living his life. He's not obligated to be here. I never question it. <laughs> Just waking up again. Do you have another one of those naps that you've been having? Okay, but seriously. Um, so I guess this is the liner of the hat. Um, if we finish, if we just fuck it and finish the hat tonight, then what are we going to do on Friday? 
Because I'm not opposed to it. There's really not much left to do. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. Oh, this turn. I sewed this lining like so well. Look, there's no, um, these, they line up like perfectly flush. That's so good. And then on this side, they matched up perfectly. Like this part is like a spliced piece of potato fabric, but it still just looks really good because it goes across. This looks fantastic. Too bad this is the inside part that no one will see. Yes, you had another nap. Your back hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. The other thing is I hate that people have uploaded sounds with abysmal audio quality. Yes, that is frustrating. Current hat looks like it could be worn by religious leaders somewhere. Now. Okay. All right. Not really sure what to do with that, but okay. So many pins. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down and I guess I'll go get my, put my pizza in the oven. I don't know. Oh wait, it's the liner. No, no, one half, but yes, this is the liner. So it is not separate. That was my stomach growling. Okay, let me go put some pizza in the oven. Um, I'm, I'll run an ad again. I do that so then people don't have to have free roll ads. Um, I'm gonna run an ad and go put the pizza in the oven. And then, um, yeah, while I do that, Tell me, <laughs> tell me if you have ideas for something else that we could do on Friday if we finish that tonight, because it's possible. Well, let's do this battle first, too. Oh, yeah, going back over here. Um, I mentioned it before, but look, there is a box and a box. Ha there's a box with a paint sprayer in over there. It's exciting. because um, you all helped me do that. So hungry. That's so nice. I um, asked my friend to save me back one of the NFTs that he was making and he's like, yeah, I'll totally do that. And then he just like gave me one and he was like, just give me something for it whenever. So nice. Okay. Mm. Throw that there. This goes here. Okay. I'll be right back in just a couple minutes because I got to go throw the thing in the oven.
Okay, I'm back. I returned. Um, so I guess we'll see what we can do with this liner part and then, yeah. We've got like 20 minutes because I put a timer on there for 20 minutes. Oh, I should, uh, I need to press the seams on this. Okay, first we'll put away some of these pins. There's just a lot of pins out and I don't need to drop them all over the carpet. The rug, we don't have carpet. I need to drink water. Christian, so you keep taking these naps and then waking up way late or early or whatever, but like, <coughs> I mean, you're not doing that on purpose, right? But it keeps happening. like something in my throat that is like making me want to cough but I don't know what it is carpet what carpet yeah like a rug I had one surprise with sound alerts I uploaded part of the Dallas TV show theme music philharmonic version I thought nobody would be interested but it's been played 37 times that is kind of interesting. ASMR, the drinking sounds. Mm. Somebody somewhere is super into that. Here for the gulps. <laughs> I have to turn on the iron. I guess I'll at least, I'm gonna be over here for a few minutes, so. I can at least do that. <coughs> okay, we can't do anything about it till later, later, yes. <coughs> Ow, sorry. I don't know what that's about. Oh, you laid in bed because your back hurt. It hurt a bit and I was done. I woke up a bit, but you couldn't manage to get up. Oh, is your back still hurting? Are you okay? Did you do something to your back? Or did you just like wake up and your back was angry at you? My speakers. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Just shitty posture. Like the rest of us. <clears throat> I try to have decent posture. So most of my joints are hyperextensive because I have allergic dermatitis syndrome on top of like five other autoimmune problems. Um, I actually have like a shoulder brace thing. It kind of I was gonna say it kind of looks like suspenders it doesn't look like suspenders um but it is like for posture because my shoulders will always like roll forward like this i can't like i have to very consciously pull my shoulders back but it is a brace that will just pull my shoulders back it's actually really really comfortable but it does help with posture mm -hmm. okay i was like what did i come over here for duh ironing have one in my Amazon cart. <laughs> I think it hurts because I drew with better posture the other day and my back went, what is this shit? Ugh. It's like making your back eat its vegetables or something, having good posture. How dare you? <laughs> probably. It probably was like, oh no, that will not work. How the fuck are you supposed to iron things when they're on really weird seams? Ow. Like, I need to do it. Do I need to top stitch that? A posture corrector thingy. Throw us the link, Cage. Let's see it. Do that. 
so they just like made it and then they threw it in there they did iron okay they did press the seams but they didn't show us that part <clears throat> Yeah, Cage, uh, show us the link. I can see if it's similar to the one I have. Just trying to flatten. I think we'll do whatever we can do until the timer goes off. I think that's the new plan. It would be fun to just okay finish the hat, but I don't want to do that tonight. I want to finish it on Friday. Then Jackbox on Saturday. Um, if I'm streaming Saturday, I will not stream on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> and then next week we'll see. Uh, that I don't know yet what we're gonna do. Ironing in my hands again. Terrible idea. But I can't figure out how to make it lay down on these areas. <clears throat> like, this is not how you iron. Which Jackbox packs do I have at the moment? I will tell you. Let's look on Steam. Oh, I don't even have Steam open probably faster for you to like click on the link in the about but I'll find it for you library I have jackbox three five and seven mm -hmm. three five and seven <clears throat> Okay, garbage truck. So I guess there's four that I don't have because there's seven total. This life is strange. Oh, I learned about that from Zell. Never mind. In the sinking city, that was the thing Marcus was talking. Okay. I think all my favorite games are in those. Okay, good. Pack five complain. Five contains patently stupid that we mentioned earlier. Let me look. What is that game that I was thinking of? It's in seven. So let me look at seven. Champed up Mark. Okay, um, so what is it? Store page. About this game. Okay, so Quiplash, we know. Devils and the details. That's when we're, well, I'm excited to play. Um, champed up, not champed up, we've played champed up. I think talking points was the one we have not played. Blather around, yeah. Talking points, talking points is the one we have never played. Because it's on the spot speech game. And yeah, so I don't really know much about that one. I mean, I'm open to giving it a try on Saturday if people want to. Ironing this is just such a pain. Oh, I was also going to have a different edible. 
Let me do that. Jamcup is probably my favorite if I had to pick one, really, because you make the drawings fight. That one is okay. It's kind of weird. Oh, because you like drawing games. That's fair. I think it's fun, too. I also like it, um, well, you use your phone, but if you use a stylus, it's so much easier. I think I used a stylus before and people were like, you cheated. I'm like, I'm not cheating. It's a stylus. Why not? Nothing wrong with that. Not against the rules. Especially because my phone is old and so the screen is small. Phone is old, the screen is small. I'm using a stylus is fine. I encourage other people to use it too if they had one. Railbone, hi. Hello, welcome in. How is it going? Can I get a Macarena like the dance from 1996? I mean, I got no beef with the Macarena. That's some big like Team USA gymnastics 1996 shit though. Taco Bell for breakfast, what? Oh my goodness. Even with those games, yeah, it is hard because you can't erase. I agree. Macarena. Yep. What about it? I'm not going to do the Macarena. No. You can't just come in and demand things like that in a stream. You know that, right? I like your enthusiasm, though. It's a good song. I guess. Isn't the whole song like all about how like white people can't dance or something? I thought, I don't know. It's no ketchup song though. Fucking love the ketchup song. I go to Taco Bell. Yeah. Taco Bell's okay. It's so expensive though for fast food expensive and then like three hours later you're hungry again it's about a girl cheating on his army boyfriend oh <gasps> i didn't know that but a whip and any i don't know what wait was that a song i'm too old for that i don't know what that is <laughs> Even though I'd probably be in pain for three days later. Okay. What's your deal with these songs? What's that about? I feel like I need to top stitch these seams. Why am I like this? But I want them to lay down. I don't want them to get all bent over inside the hat, you know? And I know this is not how you're supposed to iron things. But I don't know how to how else to make them lie flat. So that's what I'm doing. Talk smell and got to mix. Well, it happens. You're a grown ass man, Gage. You can eat what you want. You know what the consequences will be. Hmm. 
Macarena. Is that? I don't even think that's how it's spelled. Yeah, you can't just come in and demand things. You gotta at least follow the page and probably at least sub and then ask the person to do a thing and then they'll probably do it. But if you just come in and think that people are gonna do stuff, I don't think that's how it works. But again, I, I enjoy your enthusiasm. I wonder if Avenging Pineapple gets sad because they always come in here and try to troll and, and I don't get upset by it. <laughs> At least they finally had a conversation with me about it today. That was nice. We only ban for low effort here. What? Isn't this a kiosk where you just order things? Could have fooled me. Ow. Okay. Now these are relatively flat. That's pretty good. Let's go stitch those down, then we'll put it inside the hat and pin it and then sew it. Okay. It is not a kiosk, no. Why the fuck? Um, Christian, can you do an exclamation mark drop? Many pineapple uses that line every so a stream and they wonder every stream they wander into and you think it gets old. That's fair. That's fair. Everyone's allowed to have their opinions. And yeah, I'm pretty sure most of the time when I do sewing, I think they do come in and say that line, but I don't care. If that's a thing that brings them joy, then go for it. It doesn't harm anyone. What if you have a Macarena, but it's currently out of stock? Then no dice. No dice if it's out of stock. Just the way it works. If the product isn't available, you can't have it. Macaroni, if the, if Macarena is out of stock, they might give you Macaroni instead. What about Avenging Pineapple? They are someone who comes in periodically, once in a blue moon, usually when I'm doing a sewing stream, and they like to, like, ask questions about, like, making a sewing machine, and, like, they do this whole troll bit about, like, how long have you been making sewing machines, and... The whole thing and it always fucks with me every single time and then i'm but i'm finally it's finally happening regularly enough that i remember their name so tonight i was chatting with them a bit about this bit that they do and they're like oh yeah most people get really mad and i'm like yeah i bet they do because there's so many people and makers and crafting who take themselves and everything else way too seriously <laughs> but also i do recognize that i have a different um, approach to trolls than most people. But Avenging Pineapple is the username. I think it's funny what they're doing. In the perspective of them doing that to other people, I think it's great. That is the pizza timer, however... Probably should have um, notched some of that. Ah, I gotta go check on that. Pizza, you can't just leave unattended. Let me set mm, small scissors. Here they are. 
lay this down and lay that down. And this. I lay this down, then I'll go run and check on the oven. Why does the time go so fast? Okay. Uh, let me run to the kitchen. One moment. That was good. This microphone is dead. Yes. There, that should be better. Now you can hear me, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, it's super dead. Christian, did you hear what I was saying about avenging pineapple? I don't know if my microphone died or if it was fine. Hi, Warlock. I'm surprised you're still streaming. Isn't it super late? It is super late. I was thinking cat updates before I spend points to make you better. She's not even in the room, so don't spend the points. I think it may be better to feed the troll some kibble. <laughs> a starving troll is a hungry troll. Perhaps, perhaps. Um... I mean, I might feed them to a point. My thing is that like people come in and they'll try to troll, but I don't give them what they want. I appreciate a good troll and I, I, I enjoy it <laughs> if they are a good troll, but if they're just being lazy, then that's just, don't waste my time. But most people, if someone comes in and does any type of trolling, they're just immediately like ban, ban, ban. And I don't ban people really. I guess I have, Christian said I have one unbanned request. <laughs> Which is funny. One day I'll be I don't know, maybe one day I'll have enough unbanned requests and then I'll just look at them, but until then, they can sit. Was equalizing, oh, some shitty earphones, it's hard to understand some words. Makes sense, makes sense. How do you equalize shitty headphones? I didn't know that was possible. Kind of speeding this up a little bit, just so that I can... I turn the oven down, but it's still in there. Um, that is in the center, center. That's all good. This part right here is going to give me grief. Mm-hmm. My sound driver. Oh, his equalizer settings. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, you ban people out of laziness because they suck energy out of the stream, and I go, uh, pretty much. Pretty much. I bet in their heads they go, you mad, I won. Oh, probably. But really, like, we haven't banned hardly any people, right? Like, only a few.
Zoom in. That's there, and this lays down he here, here, or there. Okay, great. Fast food. Have you seen the clip on YouTube where they opened the first ever, ever McDonald's in Russia in the 90s? Absolutely, I have not. Is there something special about it? right after the Iron Curtain collapsed. Cool. Was there anything else noteworthy about it? Or just that that's when the timing was that it happened? For obvious reasons. to snip this. Oh wait, no, 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 these are already snipped because I did it the right way this time. Just remember how surprising their comments were. They dropped my milkshake, but instead of scolding me, they gave me a new one. What? Oh dear, that's terrible. It's like a lot of abuse that needs to be re, um, that needs to be remediated or healed or something that's unfortunate Yeah, literally two completely different worlds. Absolutely. I was in Moscow, I only ate American fast food because I was tired. And Russians are really weird about people not speaking Russian. That's fair. That's fair. It's sort of like that, like, in France for some people. Like, well, I don't know. I tried to only eat at French places when I was, like, like localish places when I was in France, but, like, when I, of, I have been to France multiple times, but one of the times that I was there was with a tour group, and I was, like, sort of a chaperone for it. And all the fucking kids from the high school who were on this trip, like, there were these three kids, and they were, like, oh, we were in Rome. This... It also happened in France, but specific the specific memory I'm thinking of was in Rome. 
like um i get them mixed up is it the pantheon the one in rome that is like the domed ceiling with the hole in the middle is that the pantheon pantheon parthenon i mix them up all the time um but then like right across from that is a mcdonald's in rome and these fucking kids a couple of them were like i want some french fries like you're in rome what the hell is wrong with you it made me so mad um but they went in they got their mcdonald's and like literally the pantheon is right here what is wrong with you oh you could order from a screen that's cool yes french does not like foreigners trying to speak french truth truth pantheon is weird i found it looking for a supermarket <laughs> Yeah, it really is like, it's like just right smack in the middle of like a shopping district. It's crazy. Where it's like surrounded by like clothing and whatever, like re lots of cafes and restaurants just right there. And probably a grocery store. And it just is like, oh, well, there's that. Because the city grows up around them. this is where i put a notch that's why this is being weird okay i get it you have a friend who wants to eat domino's pizza when we travel somewhere yeah why even travel somewhere if you won't eat the local food thank you exactly that think that stuff makes me so so angry like i don't know you guys, you guys get it, but like, I, I don't know, as an American who has traveled extensively and lived abroad and all that, like, I go, like, I go out of my way to try super hard to not ever be like an ugly American when I'm abroad and it's just like, it's, uh, I don't know. I just, it's unfathomable to me to be like that. My mom, my mom is also is that way a little bit. Not like, well, both, I guess. Like, she has traveled extensively and lived abroad many times in lots of countries. She lives in China now. But like, to, to be fair, my mother is also autistic, but she um, has no idea. And I'm not gonna like get into that with her. Anyway, so she'll go places and she'll try the food, but she's still going to like eat the same exact things that she always eats it's super weird but then again her her entire career has been like not like but her career she has a career occupation as a literal colonist so let's let's just let's just talk about something else Rome is weird. Layers. Yeah, layers over layers of layers of antiquity. That's a great way to put it. Now that these are laying down and working nicely, I'm really enjoying just zooming along on it. another um snipped spot that i did notch a notch natch <laughs> i guess it's just gonna go that way Yay! 
Now nah, my contacts are getting blurry. It's always the left one that goes first. Uh, I've never been to Paris. People say the French can be rude in there. Yeah, I guess so. The smaller villages, South France, people are always really nice. I have heard that as well. Most of them spoke enough English. Probably here, but I learned to say parlez-vous anglais before I went there. Yes, learning some phrases at least is like, I feel like that's the absolute minimum that anyone can do, really. What a nice hat lining. It's in McDonald's in New Jersey and a kid screamed so hard for french fries. And the kid popped a blood vessel in his eye. He went downhill from there. Holy shit. I don't, I don't even understand. McDonald's fries are not even that good. When I told people I was going to travel through Europe, almost everyone asked me if I was going to go to Paris. Blech. Because they were like, oh, you have to go, you have to go. And you're like, do I though? Um, I've been to Paris and Florence. To Paris and Florence and that's it. I would love to go to lots of other places in France. But, like, I enjoyed Paris a lot and I re enjoyed Florence a lot. But I would, I would really like to see other cities. Maybe someday. Okay. Okay, do okay. We're back over here for this, this shit again. And I'm gonna put some damn eye drops in my eyeball. Sometimes they help. And other times they don't. <laughs> Don't come to Texas. Super boring. That's a bit random. Also, hi, Henry. You are either up very late or up very early. How are things? I have been to Texas a few times here and there long ago. What's the difference? Hard gold chest or hard another gold chest. Just gonna go with the planet, go across the top. Okay. And I'm gonna wait 12 minutes to place mine. Um, I'm going to look and see who is on. I am ready to raid and go eat some pizza. I hope it doesn't get overcooked in the oven. Even though, like, I put it on 300 for 20 minutes and then I put it on warming, so it should be okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, why did Adele cross the road? Say hello from the other side. That's such a great joke. I love that. Fantastic. All right. I know who we are raiding. We're just waiting for some ads to go. There we are. All right. Let's do that. Did he just start or what? Oh yeah, he just started his stream. That's fine. I'm tired, so I don't feel like rating someone new that I don't know. Too much explaining required. 
All right, we're going to raid the forge. Please come along for the raid, get the channel points. Um, and he's just a super lovely human being. He is an art blacksmith and like just, he is made of sunshine and he's a delight. So please come along for that raid. And then come back here um, on Friday night and or on Friday, whatever. And then also on Saturday, we'll be playing Jackbox games. If you are dying to hang out in the meantime, you can join the Discord. If you would like, um, you can click the link and all you have to do is select your pronouns or set your pronouns when you click the link and then you'll get access to the rest of the server. Vengeance, yes, end of stream. I'm sorry, I've been on for almost seven hours and I was not planning to stream for this long. It's a terrible habit of mine. <laughs> You're welcome to join the Discord if you want. We have a very active and vibrant community. You're certainly welcome to. Love to have you. Just make sure to um, set your pronouns. Seven hours short stream. Exactly. See? See? All right. Um, we're going to go. So I'll see you all later. Bye. I love you.